What's going on, you bitch made ass niggas, you bitch made ass bitches, you real ass niggas, and you real ass bitches? We back cracking the motherfucking 80s, nigga. You're, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? AKA, goddamn, these niggas be on me. I love this thing, but I gotta go. The bitch love dick and she horny. We get a lot of dough. I got grams and they go up from 40. Back in the 80s, it's a lot of snow. Ah, you like that, right? You like how I did that, yeah. right? Yeah. like that, right? That shit was hard. That shit was hard. That's that Max B. It gotta be. That's that Max B. That's that Coke Wave motherfucking one, man. Classic. Uh-huh, right? uh-huh, uh-huh. That's that sheet. That's that sheet right there, nigga. That's that sheet, nigga. That shit right there, man. Shit. Too much flossing, too much Sam Rothstein. I ain't the bitch, but I gotta divorce them. Hope had to get the shallow shit up off him. And I ain't even wanna be famous. <laughs> <laughs> nigga said, I ain't even wanna be famous. You lying ass, nigga. You sold drugs, nigga. You had no choice. People was gonna know you. I'm saying the podcast. Welcome back to the show, man. Welcome, motherfucking back. Hey! Crack in the 80s, y'all. This is episode 4-5. Look, look how I come around. When I come back like John, we're in the 4-5. It ain't to play games with you. It's the, it's aim, the at aim at you. you. Probably maim you. If I know you, I'm blowing you to smithereens. I need you to remember one thing. Episode 45, fellas. Welcome back to the show, everybody. This is episode 45. God damn. The 4-5 episode. Wow. Mm-hmm. Welcome back to the show, everybody, man. Hey, it's your boy. Hey, it's me. I'm here. I'm him. It's your boy, 5-2. Here with the guys. Mars is back with us this week. Mars is here. Yes, sir. I'm saying Mars is with us. Drugs is in the motherfucking building. What you would do for drugs? You didn't get anything. But you don't need a... <laughs> What up, what up, world? It's good, man. What the fuck is up, fellas? It's your boy, Sway. <laughs> My nigga Sway got his own style of hats. They call that shit the Sway hat, you know what I mean? <laughs> Everybody know when you see that hat, we know it's a Sway hat. You know, you know, we, we don't even know what Sway got underneath there. That's the wild thing. Does he have, like, locks or is he well, balding? I don't, I don't, it's a, I don't it's a know dick under there. Locks. But he got pause. <laughs> <laughs> what? He Nigga, had, he, had, oh, he had like really long hair. I don't know if he like cut his hair short. That you gotta keep probably, the, he cut his he hair. You gotta keep. You gotta keep the image though. Yeah, I was about to say he probably bald underneath that motherfucker right now. Bald. Hey, nigga, there's a dick under that hat. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't. I don't. I don't see the reference, but that's funny as hell, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nigga just got mad penises underneath his hat. Hey yo, hey yo, pause, man. Nigga Sway Wilder. Yeah, Sway. Oh, you gonna blame Sway for that? Yeah, I'm gonna blame Sway for him. Blame, blame Sway for that. Word. <laughs> nigga say some wild shit and say, yo, he did it, man. It ain't me. Hey, he don't want with the dicks on his head, not me. You know what I mean? Oh man, hey, shout, out, shout out, shout out to the crack rock La familiar, man. Y'all see, y'all see, Mars is back. Mars is back and better than ever, like the Hess truck. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Shout out to the crack I was going heads. for a minute now. Back chinchilla ice on with a fitted. I thought you was I thought you was giving us Lil' Kim. I was going for a minute, but I'm back with the jump off. Nah, that was that was Banks. I thought you was giving us a little Kim, Lil' Kimberly. I was, I was giving y'all some Banks, some Lloyd, some Lloyd Bank of America. You know what I mean? Mm. Fuck Bank of America, man. Them niggas is some hoes. Mm. Y'all seen, that free world y'all, y'all, seen, y'all seen they got hacked like a couple weeks ago. Bitch they just hacked them niggas? Got, they they so, got some money out that shit? So Zell got hacked. But you know, Zell and Bank of America, they're the same company. Uh, they, they, they don't let bro. you know that uh, yet. Uh, yeah, they, don't let, they don't let you know that shit. But uh, yeah, no, nah, I mean, they, they got hacked. And I think they said between that entire week, it was like January... Uh, something to the seventeenth or something like that. Whatever the Friday was, all of your transactions from that week weren't weren't registered. So if you say you had a band in your bank account and you spent five hundred dollars on bills and it was approved and everything went through, the following week it showed up in your account as if you didn't pay any of your bills. You still had that band, but then Damn. 
afterward they went and took it out again. So it was yeah, they 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 fucked a lot of people over. Fuck Bank of America, man. Fuck y'all. The niggas can suck a dick, nigga. Word. Fuck them niggas. <laughs> But man, welcome back to the show, everybody. If it's your first time listening to the show, hey, hey, motherfuckers, hey, welcome to the show, man. Welcome, welcome to Crack in the 80s, episode 45. If it's your last time, Mars, let them know, man. Niggas better go, you know what I'm saying? Play a sample or something or play one of them dicks on sweet heads or something, man. Pause, pause. Enough about the dicks, man. It's <laughs> <laughs> enough dick talk in the first 10 minutes of the pod. Nigga sound like Seth Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to bring, the, I tried to bring the joke around and fail. Tell yeah, I, you, yeah, we, we see. We it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we see you. We see you, see you trying to make a callback. We see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It ain't changing what Sway got on, but you know, it's cool. Nigga Sway, wild boy. You wild boy. Yeah, Sway, Sway, wild boy. Yeah. He a wild boy for that. See, we didn't even know that's what he was. What we had going on over there, but you see? You got to do the science. You got to do the knowledge. Oh, man. Shout out, shout out to everybody listening, man. Welcome. Yo, Mars, welcome back, man. We missed you last pod, bro. Miss y'all niggas more, man. What's going on with the world, yeah. man? The, the people missed you, man. Like, let us let us know what's up. How you been, bro? How was how was your week off? Uh, it was bullshit. That's what I tell you, but... uh. Oh, man. It was bullshitty. It was bullshitty. Bull, bull city. And bull by the time city. I was finished doing what I was doing, it was like it was... It was crazy because by the time I finished, you know, handling what I had to handle, y'all niggas was done with the app. Mm, oh, so it was like right at the same time, time. Right at the same time. God damn it. Yeah. Hey, look, that means. But you here now, man. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't nothing. You had to go take care of the, you had to handle your handles. And you know I'm saying Bi- Biden did hit us up, though, after, you know what I'm saying? After the pod, Biden hit us up letting us know that he took care, he, he took care of you and sure you was. You yeah, was well yeah. Accounted for. You was well accounted for. It was all good. We didn't have to. It's, worry. it's crazy. It's crazy because in real life, Biden is the reason. Like in real, real life, Biden is the reason I got to do what the fuck I got to do. Wow, wow. Unless that niggas don't fall. Yeah, it's it's really it's it's crazy. Look how I come around. You know what I'm saying? Look how I come around. The pod is just creating actual. We 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 putting shit in. We manifesting shit on this pod. You know what I'm saying? Just like. Just, just, just like we said, one of these days Cole is gonna hit us up and I mean get that intro done for the pod. Yep, I'm saying Joe Biden is really, really behind the scenes supporting. So real shit. Shout out to the American government and all the bullshit that y'all done. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shout out to the American government. We, 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 we love you over here, cracking the '80s allegedly. But what about you, drugs? How you? How was your week, my boy? Oh, uh, my week was nothing short of trash. Uh, mm. uh, and lots of it, lots of it, man. Uh, good trash? Bad trash? Because you know there's good trash, too. Uh, well, yeah, you know, uh, the good trash is what the hobos might, you know, uh, you know, you might call them hobos or the, the homeless or, you know, whatever you refer to. Uh, that's mm. usually what the trash that they find, uh might find some Jordans in there, you know, a couple of old hey. black uptowns. A few little crack vials and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some shits that you could probably still get a little whiff out of, you know, get your last tug in, you know what I'm saying? But um, unfortunately for me, it was uh, not the good trash. You didn't you didn't get your last tug? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> yeah, that was insane. That was insane, but hey, we got you got it. You know what I mean? You got to let, let the brother cook. You know what I mean? Let niggas cook. Yeah, man. The burnt the crib down. <laughs> nah, oh, but uh, you know, you know me, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, regardless of what happened, regardless of what happens, you know, I just try to, uh, you know, try to try to remain positive. You know, try not to let things linger on. Try to you know, maintain out this bitch. Yeah, man, and most importantly, what I try to repeat to myself every day is to, you know, I struggle with uh, being upset over things that I can't control. Mm. Uh, I think a lot of us do, even, you know, a lot of people may do it unintentionally or, you know, um, um, you know, without even realizing they're doing it, but yeah, man, that's that's like a, a real uh, 
struggle for me. So, you know, I, I try to repeat it to myself every day. And, um, yeah, man, you know, just try to, you know. No, nah, I feel that, like, <clears throat> staying on that topic of, uh, what you said, just focusing on things that is out of your control and letting that shit, like, affect you. That shit like, is, like, I, I, like I'm, I'm kind of in the same space of, Trying to, I think I was last part of the week before that. I was just saying how I'm trying to unlearn things and unlearn shit that my first few uh, years on this planet I, I learned to survive. But now I'm realizing that ain't really like a healthy way of living type shit. You know what I'm saying? The way you, even something as little as putting yourself down, you might make a mistake on something. You know, the average person might be be negative toward themselves, like, oh, yo, you fucked up, you dummy. You shouldn't have did that. I don't even like doing that anymore. I think words have very, like, they have meanings, you know what I mean? A lot of people like to say words are spells. That's where, like, the English language comes from, spellings, the word spell, why just why it's, it's named that and why it actually functions that way. I think the words and thoughts we have, it it actually does manifest into real things. So if... You're constantly thinking about negativity or if you're constantly intaking negativity, that shit will fuck your day up. That shit will affect you subconsciously. You don't even you're not even aware of it, but you gotta imagine if you're hearing a certain rhetoric all day, even if you don't believe in it, it's gonna be your reality. So, so try to live in your own reality. So if I scream out, I wanna suck some titties five times a day. You think I'm gonna manifest some big some big tits? It's gonna be some tits at your door if you scream it enough. You know what I mean? Somebody is gonna hear that, and somebody is gonna, gonna nice. you know what I mean? Somebody is gonna make your your dreams come true, bro. So if you if, if that's what you want, so let, let, all the listeners right now, if you want whatever you want right now, scream that shit out loud five times on some Candyman shit, and it, it'll come true. Trust me. I wanna suck some titties. 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 Let's see. Amazon delivery on the way, my brother. Watch this. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> oh, man. But my week, how was my week? My week was pretty cool. I went back to the same spot again last week. Last weekend with my shorty at the weed bar. Cool spot. I mean, that's becoming our, like, thing now. To the point that I, with the same waiter we had last week, she recognized us and was like, oh, my God, it's nice to see you guys. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know, what I mean, she. I, I'm, I'm gonna start calling her Katy Perry because she looked like her, and she just gave me that vibe of like, "Oh my God, guys, it's so nice to see you here again. It's, it's amazing." <laughs> she got that vibe, and it's just real chill in that environment and shit. You know what I'm saying? But that was cool. I did that. I watched a couple of shows. We're gonna get into them at the uh, in this pod. Forgot to mention earlier in the pod what we're gonna get into. We're gonna talk about uh. The Last of Us again, you know, we, we've been watching that. I'm pretty sure y'all y'all been watching us with us, you know what I mean? If y'all did y'all homework. We're going to get into some lawsuit shit, you know what I mean? It was a couple of, well, one particular lawsuit that came out this week that was, it was actually a continuation of something that we talked about on the pod earlier. Bape, Bape is suing, uh, Nike is suing Bape. And, uh, you know what I mean? We got some sports topics on the list, a couple of movies, but over the week, this is where I thought you were at Mars. We know you were in uh with, with in Washington with with Biden and them, but we thought you after after you took care of that business, we thought maybe you might have took another trip back down to NY and went to go see that boy Drake at the Apollo. I heard that boy Drizzy was at the Apollo shutting shit down. Yeah, I heard he was in Harlem and all that. Yeah, that shit. Nigga brought oh, out dip friend. set. Bro, the set looked insane, bro. Like. I like that yeah. whole, you know, uh, take you back, you know, nostalgic. I'm in my room, you know, in my mom's crib or the basement, you know, yeah. my book, you know what I'm saying? My rhyme book, you know, that I feel like that always resonates. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I love when artists do that, man. Like, it's taking you back to the b-sides like when hove had that b-side concert at the barclays right just the fact that he even had just speaking on the set the fact that he even had a set on the apollo is crazy like if y'all know the apollo famous 
famous fucking uh what do you call it? Not an arena, but um what the fuck would you call the Apollo? Like a theater? I don't I, uh, let's just go with theater for now. I don't think it's as big as a theater, but it's like an where a place where they have events. But let's go with theater for now. Um, um the Apollo I think, is, uh-huh. Don't get me wrong. The Apollo is legendary, and it's you know it's amazing that he you know got a, you know doing did a show there and stuff like that. But I think it's more for me. It's it's amazing, you know, seeing or hearing Drizzy do an intimate setting in general. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He could have did that shit in fucking BBQs or uh, fucking what's that, Urban Plaza? Word. Like, you know what I'm saying? It didn't really matter so much that it was the Apollo, but you know, the Apollo is 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 legendary for what it's legendary for. So, you know, I, I still do think that that's, you know, a crazy, crazy accomplishment. For sure. And what I what I was getting at was just the fact that he had a set design on at the Apollo. Like right. that stage is typically oh, just just the Apollo, it says the Apollo in the backdrop. That's the only thing you get most of the yeah, time. I've never seen, like, you know what I'm saying? Like that, like. Yeah, I've never seen anybody design it. Right. So. My opinion on it, that nigga Drake want to be from New York. And that's okay. He want to be from New York? Yeah, he wants to be from New York. I mean. Well, don't make you say that. Like, why? Historically, I mean. Because he does. You say what drugs? Who doesn't? Yeah, I mean historically, if we think about it, like you know, from Kid Cudi to 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 you Travis know Travis Scott, it's the Travises, the you know, I'm pretty sure the list continues on. But you know, I mean, like who you know who who doesn't? Like you know, we a place of you know many talents, many 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 cultures. Uh, you know, uh, hip hop. You know, the birthplace and. You know all these all these different things. So, the birthplace of culture, the birth the birthplace of culture, hip hop culture, which is American culture, culture, which is the world's culture now. Culture. Exactly. But I mean, you let you let the rest of the country tell it. Nobody really will fuck with New York. We trash according to the rest of the world. But everybody want to come here. Everybody want to. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to dress like niggas from here. Everybody want to talk like niggas from here. Man, I was watching Bel Air uh, the other day, just randomly, because I was bored. This is random. But uh, I was listening to all the lingo that Will was using in the show. And I'm, 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 I have a cousin. I have cousins that's uh, from Philly, like literally born and raised in Philly. Bro, I, I'm not going to say I know how they talk to a T, but, bro, some of those things that they were saying in there were definitely born in New York. They came from New York. I don't know too many Philly niggas personally, but I, I always kind of thought this, and I, that's probably why Philly niggas and New York niggas never, there was only always tension there. Just in terms of just the average street person or average person and like outside that be outside. But I think just because they both East Coast cities, they both like metropolitan cities on the East Coast. I think the, the slang was always similar, but it did seem as if like Phil and all our Philly, our Philly listeners probably going to get at us for this, but whatever. Shout out to y'all. Uh, it's kind of like a borrowed slang from New York. You know what I'm saying? Like it's. It's it's slang that is similar to New to New York, but they got their own diff they got their different words to mean yeah, the same I thing. Feel like, I feel like a lot of places kind of did that, like adopted our lingo a bit and kind of just did a little twist to it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's the same shit, but they might say it a little different. Or like it might have a you know what I mean? Like it's but that shit came from here, bro. Like that's like the that's what the pop like that's what the internet growing. I mean the internet getting more popular just maybe like over the last 10, 15 years. Mm-hmm. Making the world smaller, people were able to hear different slangs and see different types of lingo that they may not have heard of, but 
I think it's more of like a universal lingo now. Of course, if you in your different areas in the South and on the West, you got your different niche types of way people talk and the slang they use and the words and references. But for the most part, I remember when I was uh when I still lived in NY and the phrase no cap was becoming like popularized. And I mean in music, songs and shit, different artists using it, especially from the South. I remember niggas in New York making, you know what I mean? They they made declarations of, oh, I ain't, you ain't gonna never hear me so no, say no cap. I'm from New York. We don't talk like that. And it's like, yo, bro, I get it, but it's more of a universal thing at this point. It ain't even like it's coming from a specific area. We know where it start, but you got niggas in Germany probably saying no cap. You know what I mean? You got niggas all over the world saying it. So it's not like, more, I feel like that's more sort of affect the social media today. Yeah, so the internet, social media, the internet. Oh. But yes, more specifically social media, not just the internet. I I, I would agree. Yeah, because the average nigga sitting in Alaska on Twitter is definitely talking like a nigga that lives in Bed Stuy. A nigga living in Chicago, he talking about his phone name and phone name yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, all type of shit, all type of shit. Like, <laughs> but uh, but back to Drake, the set list. Holy cow. Let's just go over some of the shit that was on here. So he performed 41 records. It's a lot of songs. It's a lot of fucking music. And I'm looking at the set list here. And I actually, I don't know how accurate this is, but this website that I'm using is saying the songs, but it's also letting me know the time in which he performed it. So like, or like if it was his first time ever, it says first time. Uh, if it was his first time since a certain year, it says first time since 2001 or whatever. I mean, 2011. So first, we're not going to go through the whole set list because, I mean, it's a, it's 41 songs. But the Damn. songs he performed were the ones that, goddamn, everybody would want to hear if you were a Drake fan. The deep cuts. They call these B-sides, the records that are not his hits, but they're still really good records. Over my dead body to start the fucking show, bro. Holy cow. Them chords coming in. Boom. Boom. Like, man. Over my dead body. I think I killed everybody in the game last year, man. Fuck it. I was on, though. No. Yeah, I think this is the intro to this nigga's second album. And he comes on the song saying he think he killed everybody in the game last year. Yeah, that, that was that was, that took balls because think me later, is, you know, and I'm I'm yeah, you're right, you're right, you're not lying. It, it it aged better, but at the time, it wasn't what it is now, and it's still not oh, his yeah. best project. But but you gotta think too, Drake was killing shit that was beyond his project. It wasn't he was killing shit; it was his features that was killing shit. So yeah, he was killing shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, his features. <laughs> so, I mean, think later. Over my dead body, Wu Tang forever, trust issues, Marvin's room, say something. That's the first hard five to get out. God damn. And then you go into the next five. Feel no ways, practice, jaded, jungle, karaoke. Holy shit, bro. Like karaoke, jaded, and feel no ways. It's jungle. Insane. Jungle is in there too, bro. And but practice. He performed, he performed jungle before. Well, well, yeah. So this right here says. This is his first time performing Jungle since 2015. Yeah, I I, rem- I watched it. I, I watched it on YouTube. So I remember seeing that shit. But I think I believe he performed Feel No Ways recently too. But that is that's not the same. Like it wasn't. I was later. That was years past. I was like, fuck it. What was the 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 Tyler Creator shit? I was gonna say I think he performed that at Camp Flog now when he booed him. That was a song that was playing. It was right. Feel No Ways. But it's not. <laughs> It wasn't in the, you know what I'm saying? But still all the same, though. You know, he performed it. But that's yeah. that's that's just the same, bro. Wow. It's wild, man. Like he he did all he did those, the deep cuts, and then he went into a string of like 20 hits. Fucking best I ever had over headlines, hell yeah, fucking right. Started from the bottom. I'm on one, no new friends, energy, know yourself. Nah, stop. God's playing, laugh now, cry later. Hold on, we're going home. Controller went dancing. My feel God damn, son, like. Fucking jams, and that was before he started even getting into his like feature records. He got into Wait for You after that. He got into some of the Honestly Nevermind records, Massive, Sticky, 
And then he brought the dips out, you know what I mean? He brought the dip set out live in Harlem. He bought the he bought the ranch and and onion dip out. So he bought the dips. No chips. Yeah, this nigga Mars is on one bitch. <laughs> <laughs> nigga making dick jokes. <laughs> he making fucking <laughs> chip chip and dip. Chip and dick jokes. Ah, look how it come around. Not chip and dip. Chip and dick jokes. <laughs> nigga bought the nigga bought the dips out. Where are the chips? I mean, I was, Where's the chips, <laughs> bitch? Just sound like a uh, smooth uh, Malibu most wanted. Nigga, huh? nigga bought the dips out and came out with Cam's actual pink fur, bro. Oh shit. So much so that after the show, this nigga Jim Jones made it a point to let everybody know, yo. Drake is officially the fifth member of Dipset now. For anybody that was wondering, anybody that was putting in applications, it's it's closed now. Drake Drake is Drake is the final member. That shit is just funny, man. Shout out to Drake. Shout out to the Dips. Shout out to Uzi as well. He brought Uzi out. Who else did he bring? I thought he brought one other person. I can't remember, but shout out to y'all, man. It looked like a great show. I also realized that show they didn't sell tickets to it. It was like an industry event. I nah, believe. he did. He did. He did have tickets, but the tickets he, were sold out months ago. Remember, he pushed it back. He was supposed to have been to the show. Pushed it back. I I remember when I first seen the flyer go up, and I never seen like a t- a ticket link. It was a it was a, a sweepstakes and shit like that. It wasn't tickets. It was a sweepstakes. You had a, yeah, a, you had to that, apply that, online or somewhere shit, something like that. That people was there. My, my home girl, shout out my home girl Franja. She was in the building. Well, her, her home girl was in the building. Shout out to her. But that is a clear indicator of yo. Everybody ain't supposed to be here. This is like an industry thing. Oh, course, I want to say, I want to say it was an industry thing. People was here. people. New York was in the building. People was in the building, but I mean, like it was majority like industry. No, it was, nah, it wasn't. It was majority regular civilians, but it was just like whoever applied for that sweepstakes and won did it. Got got the I, got I the think shit. If you're not selling tickets, bro. If you're not selling physical hard copy tickets, you're gonna have a sweepstakes and you're gonna get in or whatever. But that is, I, I there, think, may, I think maybe that, they got an invoice. I think maybe they did the sweepstakes and got an invoice, so he probably did sell tickets. Because I'm pretty sure he had to make some money off of it. I uh, ask French. Oh, I like French. I like. I like. We'll, we'll get the. We'll get the clarification. We'll get what, what I was yeah. getting at is, of course, he definitely made money. I didn't mean he didn't make money or money wasn't made because hard cop like hard sales wasn't made. I just think it was honestly what, and this is me just uh, just guessing. I, I have no fucking idea, but I think this event was. I think everything Drake's been doing recently is just finding a way to spend all this fucking money he got, bro. Like this nigga has he has too much money. Like when you make that much money, you got to think. I'm talking about in terms of taxes. When you make that much money, bro, you can't keep it all. Cause then they gonna tax your ass like a motherfucker. I think him with this gambling company and all these new ventures that he's doing, it's just ways for him to get rid of all that money and hide that shit, bro. This nigga Drake's making a lot of money for a lot of people. You gotta think he's signed to the music business. He's not signed to any label. He's signed to like Universal or some shit. He could, he he's the one artist. Probably Bad Bunny is the other one that can do whatever they want to do when it comes to music. And the music business, how it's set up now through these streamers, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, Universal, they just allow him to do it without any, you know what I mean? They don't they don't strike any of his shit down. You know what I mean? They don't they don't try to <laughs> like sue him or anything. It's wild, man. It's fucking wild. But shout out to Drizzy. That show looked amazing. Wish I could have been in the building, but Nah, they out of day kicked me out. Once he brought the dips, where's the chips? <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Ah <laughs> uh, man, but um, fucking guy Drake, man, it's a fucking culture. But he tells he's gonna bring out the dips with no chip. So now it's just a bunch of sauce all over the stage. <laughs> Big sauce, <laughs> man. That's funny. Shout out Cam. Shout out Joels. Legends. Jimmy's a legend too, you know what I'm uh, saying? Um, I was, I was, I've been actually listening to a lot of Jim Jones, Dipset Bird Gang, you know, Sewell to the G Gang. Listening to a lot of his shit. Um, man's is a legend. Man's is a legend. I was actually watching a random. I seen a random clip. I think the homie D Nice sent me this clip 
where Jim Jones was on this nigga Queen's Flip podcast. I don't know if it's new or if it's like an old. Yeah, I watched episode. it too. I watched it too. Word, when he was talking about um specifically he was just talking about the bird gang era when I mean Max was around, Stax and them niggas. Cause you know, after Stax passed, it was and this is how it always goes with niggas in hip hop. When they passed, they a lot of people was getting that gym saying, Yo, you could have did more for him. How come you didn't take him out the hood? You know, that type of shit. And Jim was like, and it's funny because this is the same story that French had. French was talking about on math about chinks. They both, Chinks and Stack was both asking Jim and French respectively, like, hey, yo, like, help me get out the hood. Like, I, I, need, I need to get out the hood. But in the Stack situation, Jim was offering him and, like, all of the Bird Gang niggas, like, yo, I'm going to get y'all a crib in, like, Jersey out the hood so y'all be good. But them niggas, you know what I mean? Where they was from, they just, they couldn't leave. And that's, that's the number one thing we see with artists or people that get popularized in the hood. You think the love is, you think it's all love cause, because this is this is the people that put you on. These are the people that showed you the most love at your, at your come up. But within that, you know, the hood is not a fucking normal place. That shit don't function normally. So within all that love, you got motherfuckers that's hating on you too. So the same, the same place where you get your biggest love and your big, biggest success is also going to take you out, as we've seen. You know what I mean? So... Jim was just talking about that on Queen's Flip, saying how he was trying to get the homies, he was trying to get Stacks and them to move into this crib that he wanted to buy for them outside of the hood, and we see what happened. Same with Chinks. Like, French was talking about it on Math Pod, saying, like, Chinks asked him, like, hey, man, like, like I need I need to get out the hood. Help me get... Oh, I don't even know if he asked him to help him, but he was just saying, like, yo, Chinks' idea of... Getting out the hood was buying a crib that was just five blocks down from where his actual hood was. And, I mean, it's just... It's just wild, man. I don't even know how I got on that, but shout out shout out to <laughs> shout out to French and Joe. We was talking about oh, Jimmy. And 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 I uh, understand what, what Jim was saying, how he, you know, he said he wanted to get him, Max BML, uh, yeah, no a, a brownstone. Yeah, that's what he was talking about, word. Them niggas ain't want to live together. I I get it. I, but niggas this is, is grown ass men. Niggas ain't want to live together. I you was better what, off getting them a little bullshit ass. Each of them niggas a bullshit ass apartment. A brownstone. You know how much a brownstone is. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I you know, see, shout I to can Jimmy. See Jim's point of view, though. I can. See, I totally see his point of view. But you got to understand them niggas. Them niggas told you no because them niggas didn't want to live together. They had the what the fuck is this making a band? <laughs> I. I get that for sure. As as grown men, you don't want to do that. No, them niggas ain't want to live together. In Jim's mind, maybe he was thinking like, "Yo, you ain't even got to live here. This is just a spot for you could duck off and be out the way. You ain't got to live here on some. We playing house shit. We wake up in the morning. We see niggas. I think it was just like, yo, I'm gonna get y'all this spot tucked off out the hood, so." You could focus on just music. You ain't got to be around the energy that you came up in. Like, we not on that no more. Take this brownstone. You ain't got to live there because nobody is really in their crib all the time anyways. They gonna niggas going to be back and forth to the studio. You might make a little run out to the rock. Boom, head I back get to you. the brownstone. Yeah, I get you, but still in all, we grown-ass men, my nigga. Like, niggas, them niggas was grown-ass men, bro. Like, come on, the brownstone probably only had about one or two showers, so they got to share, you know, two niggas got to share it. It's just a lot of politics that probably went into that shit. Them niggas, you feel what I'm saying? They probably, I don't want to live with this nigga. That's my mans and all that, but I want to live with this nigga. I just I met these it. niggas. Come on, I mean, son. It's, it's fucked up. Stack know. wasn't even a grown man. That nigga was 24 when he died, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah niggas, niggas was niggas really was grown. grown. But, you know, back in the day, though, niggas was grown. Yeah, they, like, it's different from a 24 year old back in the day it's way different from a 24 year old nowadays we also don't know how big that brownstone was so exactly on that. Brownstone a brownstone in big, big, Jersey though. ain't say a brownstone in Best Stop he said Jersey I ain't never seen a brownstone in Jersey I was about to say I didn't even know they had brownstones no. out there exactly so it probably was a hole in the wall <laughs> not gonna lie to you he ain't say Best Stop if he'd have said yeah. Best Stop I'd have been like alright Nigga would have been like, oh, right, yo, oh. Jimmy looking out. Jimmy looking out. That's, that's, a, that's the Huxtable. You understand know what I'm saying? That's the Huxtable. Brownstone in the Star or Park Slope. Oh, you know right. what I mean? 
You said Jersey like niggas supposed to go, oh, yeah, that's right, because Brownstones in Jersey is nice. No, nigga. No. That just remind me of you saying, like, niggas being older back in the day. I seen a meme of a video. It was a meme and it was a video. The video cap it was captioned, people in the 80s in high school looked like they were 35, and it showed a video of just, like, a classroom Real shit. From, from the 80s. Real shit. These niggas look old as hell. Like, they had mortgages and... Yeah, a twenty four year old nowadays ain't the same as twenty four twenty four year old back in the day, back in the day back in the nineties, my nigga. Niggas, it was rough. shit was nigga crack, nigga. The podcast they crack in the eighties, nigga for real. It was it was rough, nigga. Nah, real, real, real talk though. It was rough. Niggas had to grow up at twelve. Niggas had to grow up with crack, bro. That's insane, yeah. bro. Like, come on, my nigga. Niggas' mom's feet out, all types of wild shit. You don't can't imagine what a nigga seen. So for them, the niggas, I'd rather be, I'd rather stay at my mom's crib, have my own room, my own space, than move to a brownstone, probably a little hole in the wall, and live with two niggas that I know because I do, I make music. And you don't even really know these niggas. You got and you ain't even remember. right. You don't know. You don't know how heavy, how different these niggas' beefs is. Stax had beef, yeah. Mel had beef. I ain't know. No, I don't think Mac. Mel had mad beef. Anybody want to live with that Mel nigga? Had mad beef, bro. Mad beef, niggas. Find out what the fuck is that in Jersey? What difference does it make? Mel Everybody could drive. Mel got caught up in the motherfucking Treyway beef. That's how much beef that nigga had. Nah, he, he ain't get he. Jim Jones said on the podcast, he was he wasn't locked up for that shit though. He, oh, he, he, he got, oh. He, I know, but like his name was brought up. That's just by association. But anyways. Shout out to the dips. Shout out to Drizzy. Shout out to the dips. Shout out to the dips, man. Shout out to Drizzy. You know, I miss, I miss, I miss. 2006, man. It was the, I was looking at the years that these these tapes came. I'm like, damn, 2006 was a great fucking year for music. But um, 2006 and 2016. Yeah, both, both great years. Both great years. Yeah, 2006. We got in my mom. We got the whole dip set shit. Kind of crazy. I was bumping in my mom by Pharrell too. So listen. Dedication to Drake buying them fucking chains. Jesus Christ. Oh, you seen? Oh, we, we talked about it last week. You missed that part. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I was selling drugs. I was selling drugs. I said, that nigga came at, he was coming at us. He wasn't dissing nobody in the industry. He was coming at the niggas who watch TV, who was all the hype beast niggas. That's what it was for. There was no other, ha ha, niggas, I niggas is broke. <laughs> Look what I got. That's what it was. <laughs> That's what it was. It was. It, it wasn't for Pharrell. It wasn't for Pusha. It wasn't for nobody. He did that shit for the, the people looking at the TV. To us, for us to go, for niggas like me to go. Fucking hate. It's the first time I actually looked at Drake and said, "Hate you." <laughs> and that's I never I said that with him before. I never, you know, I love the guy. He's a great guy. You know, he's a great, great. Partially, but. I, I also have my own theory that I kind of like bumped into with like his influence, him being signed, him still having that deal with Nike, but and the whole bit. having that influence in hip hop, which is also an influence on practically the world, which is also an influence on fashion. And we already know how that stretches. So it's like him putting on an entire bait fit with those pieces as opposed to putting on a Nike hoodie or, you know what I'm saying? Like, Drake is very calculated. And um, he doesn't really wear things or put things on front street that's going to say what it is if he's not getting something out of it in some sort of way. So it's like, I don't know. Like, I I, I don't know, man. Like, I kind of was just like, uh, I guess, bumping into different things. But... I don't know, man. I think that sparked something, and I think that's where, like, the lawsuit probably, like, came from. Oh, that's a good transition. Um, So Nike is officially suing Bape for copying so you think that nigga was iconic trolling us, shoes. Man? think that nigga was trolling us, my nigga? Drake is a oh. troll king. You think he was, so. trolling, he was trolling the Bape heads? You think he was trolling niggas Ooh, like me? Trolling Bape? Or if he's trolling Nike? I don't know. I doubt he's trolling Nike. Bro, we don't know what goes on in that office. We don't know what goes on, bro. He He's not the type of nigga that's going to come out and be like, fuck Nike on some yay shit. Yeah. What did he have on his feet? Uh, I could pull it up right now. Y'all just keep keep it keep it going while I look it up. What did he have on his feet is the question. It looked white. 
I, I think. think. But the uh, white ups, did he have on the CLB white ups? If he did a vape jacket with white ups, then I can't trust him. Sorry. I don't even remember seeing his. Oh yeah, he did have on like yeah, he had the white. He had the white joints on. Yep. The white. If you go look at the thumbnail, if you just look up the video and you just look at the thumbnail, that's the thumbnail. It's him with the uh the Ferrari, the doors up, and uh it looked like his. It they they look like white ups from the thumbnail, so I'm gonna assume they're his white ups that he came out with. Right. <laughs> but the thing is, I I read a little bit about it, right? And what I noticed is, um. Nike Nike has been watching bait for a while. Obviously, they've been new about them, but they were saying the reason why they didn't put their foot on them yet was because they didn't feel like they had enough influence yet. They didn't feel like enough of their sales was enough to tick off Nike. So right after the Jumbotron shit popping video is out and it's flowing, this nigga, the bait pieces, the talk is the Pharrell, it's the, you know, everything, everything in that realm from back in that time. So it's like, kind of like re-emerging now. Yeah. I mean... Nike tried to sue bait 20 years ago. They couldn't. They lost. But it say it comes oh, full yeah. circle, but they trying I, to sue them again it. right now. I was I, I I was looking up on that, but they didn't say that they sued them. They didn't like it wasn't no uh like it, there was no uh lawsuit nope. before. Like I don't know if they might have uh I don't really know how that type of shit works. I don't know if they put in some type of warning or like I don't know what, what they did, but it's and desist maybe. It was probably a cease and desist. Right, right, right. So well, let was, me let me let me introduce the topic before let me exactly. let me just introduce it. So uh, according to I don't even I might according to complex. Uh, ugh, I hate I just said that. <laughs> let me find a different source. According to another source, <laughs> on Wednesday, Nike filed a lawsuit against Bape, alleging that the company has caused damage by copying its sneaker designs. Nike asked the court to order Bape to stop selling shoes it believed infringes upon its trademarks and requested an unspecified amount of money. So these niggas is telling them to stop making this shit and we want bread from you niggas. Hmm. It's crazy that... See, I didn't even think about the Drake influence and the popularity of that video coming out, uh, how it might relate to this lawsuit. It might not, but the timing of it is pretty is pretty interesting. And then they have here, you know, they got all the like the Nike trademark designs and it's the US registration number and which is basically just the blueprint, and then they got the different shoes that uh translates into it, which is the Nike Air Force One Lows, which they're saying the BAPE STAs. The Bapesters, you know what I mean? They saying those are direct copied and the Air Force One mids, the dunks, the even the Air Force One midsole de- design. They saying all of that shit is a direct copy of the motherfucking Nike. Because think about it, right? Like I said before, we all know who Drake is, how big Drake's, Drake is, his influence, all of that. Mm-hmm. Or The last artist that and I could be wrong on this one but like the last artist that was really premiering Bape on some shit in his video type of shit like Wayne Premier, yeah premiering yeah as in like this is the first time you've like, seen it Layton Bape like hoodie pants kicks fly. Yeah. Like he a whole bait commercial type shit, like you know what I'm saying? And what he else? Was. Social it was like MySpace back then, right? Was it? Yeah, yeah MySpace. That was, yeah. that was definitely MySpace era, pre pre Facebook. Might have been early Facebook, but pre 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 social media for sure. So if we was to if we was to say to the casuals, the prime of bait was probably around then. 
But at, yeah, maybe. In terms of its but peak it popularity, peak yeah, popularity saying, being like, like masses, like for like you know what I'm saying, like as far as everybody seeing it, copying it. Oh shit, what's that? What's bait? Was oh yeah. yo, I need the bait hoodie. Like oh, I need you know what I'm saying. I'm talking about casuals, like because if you was already in that world in that realm, you you you. BBC ice cream like you, you already was familiar with it you're a fan of Pharrell you know what I'm saying obviously you already knew of it but that sure. wasn't bro it was more of like a cult thing definitely it was definitely that's a good point to make too because all of that shit was even down to the music like right anything around that era that was popularized was based off of like cult 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 like stuff Think about the probability, right? Let me put it like this. The probability. When we was in school around that time, high school, junior high school, right? Bro, let's just, let's just put this in. It's lunchtime, right? It's lunchtime. It's seven period. All the illest niggas is in there. <clears throat> How many niggas you think got on Nikes as opposed to having on a pair of Bapes? Niggas yeah. couldn't afford base back in the day. I was to say, you know. they probably had two you niggas. Know. My nigga, you literally would probably see two to five niggas in an entire school. If that, That's and, it, and, 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 and two out of the five niggas, two of the niggas, I, I, I'm just saying, I, I, let's say five niggas had on babes. Right. Three of them niggas' base might actually be fake. I was about to and say, I knew, I, knew one nigga, I knew one nigga in my high school. I had a small, I went to a really small high school. I knew one nigga, literally one. And he, because he was the only nigga with babes, we just assumed his shit was fake. He was like, nah, that nigga got the fake shits. That ain't yeah, real. There's a lot of niggas like that. It was a lot of <laughs> niggas. This is, this is a whole... This, this is, uh, you know, not to get sidetracked or anything like that, but I don't want to take away too much from the niggas that might have been wearing the fake babes because... I, I don't want to take away from it either. It was still a thing. Yeah, that was still a culture too. Yeah, well, like, we talked you know, about it, too. like... This I remember this dude for that. I don't even the, know if his name. Right, the bootleg culture was niggas still had money copping bootleg shit. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying, like you not, not to cut you off, bro. Niggas yeah. got money nowadays still copping bootleg shit. Like yes, you're still. I know, so I, have, I know someone to this day. I'm not gonna name names. I know them right now. Like they make really good money, but because they make such good money. They buy the bootleg shit because they could pull it off. And Bro. I don't even know where that comes from because it's like only they know. The outside world doesn't know that they make money. But for some reason in their mind, because they could afford it, they would rather get the knockoff and pretend that it is the real thing. My nigga, knockoffs? Bro, listen. We look at celebs, rappers, singers, entertainers, all these type of niggas on TV all the time, my nigga. They got all this shit on, bro. First off, let's not even talk about knockoffs, bro. A lot of these niggas don't even actually buy or own the shit. They will wear the shit on in that moment, and that shit is going back to where it came from, bro. Yeah, that, that shit is leased. Niggas is leasing chains and jewelry and, and all type of shit, bro. Good nigga Good babes for leased? Kind of insane. Bro, and there's a whole culture of... Rappers and shit like that that cop chains and jewelry and shit that's not real diamonds. It's happening right now. That's like that's like my guy. That's like my nigga. Uh, <laughs> my nigga Aziz Ansari on fucking uh, Parks and Recreation when he had rent a swag. And I mean, he had a whole shop where niggas would just come and buy swag and rent it. Not buy swag, come and rent swag. <laughs> come and cop a bunch of shit and just take it back if you needed to. <laughs> right. Right. But I remember, I remember graduating junior high school. My dad, at the time, I didn't know. Um, well, actually, let me bring it back. Remember, we had the show at Penn State, and I ran into my ex Monet while we was on stage. He, I remember that. That was legendary. <laughs> it's fucking the crazy, craziest shit ever. Shout Niggas out to Monet. Was on tour. I fucking. She was the first person that I've seen her and her dad. That I've seen in Bape, like real Bape. He was dropping her off. This nigga had the BBC Varsity on, with the pink shit Pharrell had on in the fucking video, the black and pink shit. I don't know who this nigga was. He looked like DJ Paul. Keep it real with you. Mm -hmm. It's crazy as shit. But she told me about Soho. At, at, the, at that time, I thought Soho was a mall. 
Right. Remember, remember had, when you first found out about Soho? Nigga, I thought this shit was a mall. She was like, yeah, I went to this, I went to, my dad took me to the, the babe store in Soho. Like, it's a mall? I mean, I, 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 didn't, I didn't say that. I assumed. She never told us what it was. Just assume. I just assumed not, it was a mall. I'm cut you off. Don't remember, don't forget your classroom. story. Don't, don't forget your story. My, my bad. But just remember when you got to that age when you just start rem- like understanding things exist in the world. <laughs> like, Bro, real you know, shit. we living in this, they got this in the city right now? Like, I could go there right now. Yeah, nigga, that shit is, take the train right here. Get off the F. Shit is crazy. So when I graduated junior high school, I told my dad, I said, y'all want to go to the Bape Store in Soho? Take me there. Right? He gave me $315 for my graduation. Shout out to my pops. Shout out to pops. This is before the internet, so we couldn't Google where this shit was. He knew where his, him, and my, him and my stepmother knew where, uh, you know, Soho was. So we got, you know, got out, got out the car, we walking around. We had to ask around to find where the Bape Store was. Find it. I go in there. I'm like, oh, first off, I'm like, oh shit, it's not a ball. It's a whole strip of just shit the, the shop. What the is, fuck is this? Stores outside. What the stores fuck? outside in Manhattan. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what? Do I live in this same city? Am I still in New York? What the fuck? No, my nigga. You know when you're younger, mind blowing. Bro. When you're younger, my, rides to Manhattan seem like a long. It's like a road trip. Bro, rides to Manhattan to me felt like I was on, like I was going, I was leaving my city. That's how yeah. it felt to me. You all leave like, Oh city. shit! I'm going to a. This is this is this is a. It's uppity over here. Yeah, real shit. So we get to the babe store. I'm I'm, I'm seeing a few. You know, look, the prices was insane. I'm like, this shirt's is yeah. hundred. Yeah. Jesus Christ! What the you fuck is this? At price tags and you are like, holy yeah, hell. yeah. So then I go to the store. I'm like, fuck! I'm just gonna give me a pair of sneakers. I ain't gonna give me a shirt. I'm gonna give me some sneakers. Looking at, I saw a, a pair of uh, uh, red and pink roasters. Mm-hmm. Just was three hundred and five dollars, nigga. That nigga said, you gonna spend all that money on a pair of fucking sneakers? He yeah, still, I, to this day, give me a hell about that shit. You really, I'd give you $300 and you really spent that whole 300 Nigga, left that bitch with $10. <laughs> left that bitch with $10, nigga. Word. Not even. Left you left had to pay tax. Had to pay, it was, the tax was. That was the tax. Oh, yeah. yeah it was 300 You left with no money, nigga. No oh, bread, God. nigga. Felt complete, nigga. Felt complete, nigga. Yeah, and the big really boxes funny. back in the day, they was epic. Because when you open it, there was a monkey actually fucking another monkey. It was just amazing shit back then. It's crazy. All my niggas with some, you know, some some babes, you would know that. When you open up the box and you look inside the shit where the sneakers are, there's an actual it had monkey, monkey fucking a, had a monkey porn, yup. Facts. What you were saying, drugs? Nah, I was saying like um uh in that what he was saying about cop, you know, spending his last, you know, hit the whole 300 on the kicks. Guys, we're, we're kind of like that. Like, just, it's kind of like just in our nature. Like, you Ain't know, no conda. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, you know, it doesn't really matter. It could be a wrestling toy. It could be a car. It could be, be whatever you want, literally. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, if it's something that we really set our mind, our eyes on, and, and it's something that we really wanted. Bro, a we bitch. we don't give a fuck what the terms is, bro. We going we going we going to spend whatever it is. If we got it, we going to spend it all. And I we think that's to- a testament. I think that's a testament to just human behavior and evolution of like man and you know what I mean, from the caveman days like mm-hmm. to now like whatever we want, we going to we we want it. Like, you know what I'm saying? We going to do whatever it takes to get it, whether it's Working hard to get to another level in life, whether it's motherfucking, yo, I want these motherfucking kicks. How can I get these kicks? They cost three hundred. All right, let me let me figure out how I can get three hundred. We 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 are we're, we're resourceful when it comes to figuring out what we want. The problem just comes in with the shit that people want is like, all right, fam, that's that's a bad thing, bro. <laughs> you shouldn't want that. But the ability to get it in that. That you know what I'm saying? That that hunger to get there, it's I think it exists. I think that's a man thing. Of course, women have it too, but I think specifically a man as a species, I mean as a as the human species, and I think Yeah, 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 definitely that. I think and that's I think within us. I think it's 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 what's the what's the word? Not is it within it's uh it's it's basically just within us. It's just something that is in our DNA. That's just how we operate. Yeah, it's just cash out. Nah, not more deeper than that, bro. 
more so if we want it, we gonna go get it. Oh yeah, hell yeah! No matter what, you know what I'm saying. That's more so what I was like. Yeah, exactly. But and like yeah, I said, I definitely, I, I definitely, I, definitely it, I don't want to make it more like you know too much a woman man thing. Women have that too. We know, we all know that. But I think women have more of like a bit of like a. They shit different. They shit is all they shit. Yeah, like <laughs> they, they make babies. Bro. They make people. That shit is different. Women are compromised. Like, let's say a woman wants some shit that's expensive, but if they find a cheaper version of that same right. thing, but not the same thing, they, they, they will they will baby. cash out. Right. right. Us right. niggas, we want the real deal. I wasn't going to cop no fake babes off eBay. I wasn't. Nah, fuck that. I need the real shit. This bitch is Monet's coming to school with real babes on. Fuck that. I'm going to the babe store. Yeah. I'm going and to it's 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 so crazy because like the shit it low key is stupid in itself in some instances like some situations is is stupid because it's almost it's almost always stupid bro almost it is always always like, yeah. almost always I, I got another crazy shopping shit I used to do right my mother used to give me twenty dollars allowance in high school when I was a freshman sophomore twenty dollars allowance my nigga twenty 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 to twenty five dollars depending on how good of a job I did. Yeah, same, same. My pops right? gave me the same every week, 20. Every week, right. Now, at the time, there was no BBC ice cream store. It was only Barney's and Union. Oh, word. Yeah. Bloomingdale's, so too, had them shits. Yeah. Had, they had BBC ice cream shots at Bloomingdale's, word? Yeah, I think so, Why yeah. What the fuck? Damn. Anyway, I would save up. I would be hungry in school. I would be hungry. Nigga, 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 ribs is touching his back. Those ribs is touching. Sometimes I'll bring lunch to school, nigga. You niggas be clowning me. You brought lunch to school, but I'll cut niggas' ass back. Yeah, your mother cooked it, bitch. Fuck out of here. So, you know, <laughs> I leveled out. You know what I mean? But, nigga, I, at the end of the month, the I would have, I would have $105, nigga. Right? I'll fucking leave school. I'm leaving school early, yo, bro. I'm out. Third, third, uh, fucking 12 o'clock, I'm out. Stole open up at 11 o'clock. I'm out. Third period, nigga. I'm, out, I'm cutting. Fuck this. I'm not. Hit, nah. I'm going going in, I'm cashing out on a BBC shirt. Ice cream shirt. And your school that. was right there, too. No, this is before I transferred. Oh, okay. This is when okay. I was in automotive. So I was I was fairly close. I was still in Waynesburg. I was so it wasn't nothing. Oh, so you was in I was in Waynesburg. Oh, yeah. Waynesburg is right there. Yeah, in fact. You know what store is Bob, Bob, Bob? The, the first store. You ever, y'all niggas remember Michigan? Michigan? Yeah. Yeah. The store, the first store in Brooklyn was, was by my school. Was about automotive. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I had a, I had a Mishka bucket. That shit was so fire, bro. Shout out. What happened to Mishka, man? What happened to that shit, man? Man, what listen, man. To that boy, Mishka, Mishka was a part of that era that's never forgotten, bro. Mishka the would never. Era. Mishka would never be forgotten, bro. Nope, never. I knew, I knew. So Mishka was definitely the blog era. I remember coming up. When I was, uh, this was, <laughs> this wasn't recent, but this was maybe when I was like 20, early 20s. I knew of a nigga that was like affiliated with Mishka because my shorty at the time knew him through like Twitter and shit. And I would hate on this nigga just as a nigga trying to keep his girl being hate, hating and shit. You know what I mean? Because she was for the streets and me just trying to not, me trying to save her from the streets. She, you know what I mean? She's like, she she knew this nigga and he was like affiliated with Miska, so I would hate on him and that fucking brand for that reason. He made music and shit too, so I was like, yo, this, you think this nigga cool? Because he does, I mean, fuck that nigga. I slapped that nigga. No, that nigga ain't proud about it. I was hating though, and I, I I'm, I'm petty. I like to keep track of the motherfuckers that I, I be hating on, and I'm, I'm pretty, I'm glad that. That ex and that nigga are both failing right now, so that's a, yeah. I appreciate yeah, that. I had a homeboy named Eric that actually went to automotive with me. He was actually a, he was a crazy hype. He was BBC ice creamed out. He had the navy blue diamonds and dollar t shirt and the buying it off that nigga for sixty dollars, and I gave it to my Ooh, ex. Oh, so. good price! I said it's a good price at that time. Hell yeah! You nigga, said you gave it to who? I gave it to one of one of, one of my exes. Man, to this day, the only I had to, give, I had to I... give us some drip. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that fucked up? You be trying to lace them? Yeah, you be trying to lace these hoes. And they un- trying to lace them, bro. I'm lace these bitches. Grateful. You the only oh. bitch with that shirt that I know. That bro, that my, the world might know. 
My only in regret, Brooklyn. bro. My only regret in life. I don't even regret the relationship. The only regret I have in life is giving my ex my cool grades, bro. What the fuck? Ice cold, cruel grades, bro. Them shits had the bottoms were still clean. The bottoms are still blue. I didn't wear them. The bottoms were still blue. Oh, that, that's how much court. I didn't wear. You might have to take her to court for those. I might. You might have I to. Her, I gave her a motherfucking polo, a polo bear T-shirt too. This bitch cut the sleeves off of them shits like a dumbass. Um, oh, oh man! It's trying to give you drip. You know when you trying to you trying to drip your shorty out. Uh huh. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm aware. Oh, I know. Yeah, that was my. That's my only regret no. in life, bro. I don't regret nothing. I be else. trying to because it's these bitches don't be having no swag. You be like, yo, you're a reflection of me. I can't have exactly. you wearing that I can't, have, I can't be out here BBC ice cream out and you wearing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bullshit. You got the Word. you got the rainbow tee on. You just Jays is lit. You know what I'm saying? You got the trueies on, but that the t-shirt rainbow game, is not it. The t-shirt game is horrible. The females got they got horrible t-shirts. Now, now nowadays there's better t-shirts out for women to wear. But back in them days, bitches ain't had no t-shirts to really wear. If it was unless it was a Brooklyn shirt, but oh, who a cares? Plain shirt. You know, oh, a plain shirt. Yeah. You know, you you know, know the shorties you know, that would wear like the color belts with the black. With the color t shirt with a decent jeans and the joints the back. My nigga. Yeah. Come on, son. I knew a bunch of Puerto Rican shorties that did that. It was it was black girls doing that shit too. Everybody did all that. of them used to do that with the name belt, different color. The 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 the, the belt be a color, a certain color. The shirt be they try to match and match it up to it can match the color sneakers. They man, listen, I mean, that was the thing. That was like a, you know that was the wave. That was an era. Yeah, that was, was def- remember, that was a remember bad the era. LED. Remember the LED yeah. belt. Meanwhile, yeah. meanwhile they're doing that. Meanwhile, we catch out on Maury's, Prada's, going to Venny's, going crazy. They, yeah, they, they was cashing out. Meanwhile, they, what they was doing, they wasn't cashing out shit, nigga. That 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 from from the from the from the jeans up was twenty dollars. The most I cashed out on is when I figured out what? about eBay and I was copping like dunks and shit. I was when I found out about that, I started wilding. I was. I was paying a little bit more for shit that I needed to. But full circle, right. I ended up selling them shits and getting the bread back, getting more. Right. We we off on the tangent a little bit, but... We off. Nah, we we, we potting. This is a good pod. We potting right now. Yeah, but I I I um I, I just I just wanted to say and what I was saying. Uh Drake, I think I think uh I think him putting that shit on in that video was a statement. Uh, you don't know which side it was on I, to, though. Yeah, I don't really know. Per, I think we're going to find out in mm. time. I think it's going to... Because bro, we, it's crazy, because he definitely does have a collab with Bait and Nike. Right, right. He does. Oh, he does yeah. have that. I forgot about that babe collab he did. He did a recent one too. I was just looking at the sneakers about the bob here. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I don't know how it feels. I don't know, I don't know what the fuck that was, but that was funny as hell. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I put my arms up when I said it. I don't know. Nigga, this nigga overloaded. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I, I was about the bob here. You know, about to cash out again. I got. I had three fifteen. It was three hundred. Let me stop. <laughs> I don't know how how crazy his Nike deal is either. It's insane. Crazy. I'm gonna but say I don't know, I know either, but I know it's crazy. No, that nigga signed that deal when uh. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Headlines. Uh, 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 yeah, boy, when he dropped that, boy. Headline. When he was wearing the gloves and shit. Bro, all of them niggas but my had thing fucking is baseball this. gloves. My thing is this. I'm going to keep it a band thou with y'all niggas. I'm going to keep it mad thou wow with y'all niggas. You heard? I don't see niggas wearing his Nike shit. No, nobody wear that shit, bro. Yeah. Think- nobody wear that shit. Exactly. I was going to say. Nah, bro. You niggas can't say that. that. No, no, no. no. I don't say you can't I'm say sorry. that. Wait, 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 wait. One mic, one mic. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking I'm agreeing with what you about to say, bro. I'm not gonna say you can't say that because I agree with you. I'm not. I'm, I don't see it much either. But I don't really go out past 
you know what I'm saying? My zones right now. So. Exactly. And that's what I'm getting at too. Word. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, if I take a trip to Canada, I might see a whole bean of niggas. Bro, a Nocta. It's just going to be Nocta. You know and mad yeah. shit on Bro, out there. Like, fuck, and that's I what I'm with, saying. With the I fuck with Shane Gillis. I, I talk about him a lot. Shout out to my nigga Shane. He fuck with me. Nigga, follow me on, on, on social media and shit. Funny ass comedian. You know what I mean? He be on Joe Rogan and shit all the time. <laughs> that nigga be on his show wearing the Drake knocked the sweatsuit with the kicks. I'm yeah. sure Drake probably sent it to him or whatever, but that world, I could see like, cause he's like That's- a suburban white dude. I could see that world of guy just trying to be cool. I want to cop the Drake shit. And cop it, like you know what I mean? Just cause right, right. I, I, to. I only I only see niggas that's like close to Hollywood or in Hollywood wearing shit. I don't think the urban community, I hate to use the word urban, but I had to get real, you know, corporate boardroom meeting language. I, had I don't white. you had to get real white. I don't think the urban community <laughs> is tapped into the Nocta. I don't think Honestly, that, I don't um, think no. I don't, I don't even see bitches in what you're talking about, bro. Because the urban community in Paris might have all that shit on. But also, but also, I think. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Wait, wait, wait. I think also he doesn't give a fuck about this urban community. If we keep it a buck. Man, who the money? The nigga, he, he wants to be dipset. He's Where's dipset. There? You have to care about that. You're dipset. <laughs> you're talking that. about. We, he's we dipset. already know. We already know. <laughs> Say it again, drugs. So it's clear. Nah. No, nah, I was saying, I was saying, like, yeah, we, we ain't got to tap into that part. We already, we're we already right. know. Yeah, we but know. He we is know. dipset. He is dipset, so he has to tap into the urban community some way, somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's dipset. But I could be wrong in this. Y'all could correct me. I don't know, and we we all could be wrong. All right, but I believe, and I'm not from there. I've never been there. I I plan to go there really soon. Uh. And to Canada, but I believe Drake's influence, at least out there, is probably maybe two times on a bigger scale. Ooh. Oh, my As mother went. To, my mother went to carnival out there. She said the nigga Drake is like the president. Oh, Drake is a god out there, bro. Like, he's like, she's, she I'm, said, my mother said it was billboards of that nigga for no reason. Right. So it was just billboards of that nigga. Like it was just Drake. Know, it was a, it wasn't know. the words. It was a picture of Drake. <laughs> yeah, that's <great. laughs> what it's just that nigga oh. holding the phone. It was just him. A picture, of him, a good flick of him. Billboard. Yeah. Oh, that nigga is just. Then, then the billboard. You know, the, the you know the the, the, the the billboard like flips the next picture. It was another picture of Drake. It was like a collage type thing. Shout out to Drake, though, man. Shout out, to, shout out to Drizzy, man. Nah, shout nah, drugs. You you could be you could be motherfucking uh. Okay, okay, all right. Oh, well, well breaking yeah, I was, news. I was kind of comparing it, his influence to what Jay Z was to us. Yeah. What's your well, breaking news, bro? Uh, <laughs> I asked, I asked Franja. She wrote me back. I said, Question Did you buy those tickets? She said, Nope, sweet steaks. I won them. Everybody did. Exactly. Oh. That, that, oh. that, that kind of proves my point. Breaking news, full circle. I don't think that show was available to just be sold for a reason. I don't know the reason, but I know when it comes to all of these deals and all this shit, if you sell something, when it comes back to taxes at the end of the year, that's how you're affected when you have to pay back some shit. But if you give tickets away, it comes is a little different, you know what I mean? And this is what I'm thinking, too. You got to think, why would he... And we we've been on Drake for a minute, <laughs> like pause. But why would why would, he, why would he want to perform at the Apollo? Think about that. Like that shit holds like 300, 500 people. He's trying to get that knocked at the selling hall because the urban community ain't fucking with it. <laughs> that could be a take too, but no, nah, it's not a take. I'm just it's, de- it's deeper. I think it's definitely it's it's it's, think, it's a bi- it was a business decision. I think it's more uh, me personally. I think it's more heading towards, and me and uh, me and Mars talked about this shit probably, you know, maybe three three years ago, some years ago. I, I'm pretty sure he's gonna remember when I say it. But oh, so yeah, yeah, niggas be talking. Yeah, we yeah. talk. <laughs> I know him. I'm cool with drugs. I know him. <laughs> I know that nigga. <laughs> I know that guy. We talk here and there. Right. <laughs> but um, yeah, I believe uh, like what Drake raps about. 
You know what I'm saying? The Frank Sinatra. Like, I, I believe... Mob shit? His estate. His, 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 you know, that, that, that intimate, you know, performance that, that, you know, only a set few can view, but the world can see it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so much money is put into it. So much money is made. in like, the craziest venues. Yeah. From Vegas to, you know, the, 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 the Apollos, the, you know, all the ill classic shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, he's, he's heading in that direction, bro. Like, he, I think. Yeah, uh, we got a good, like, maybe like eight years of that nigga left, son. Yeah, bro. He understands that. And, and you, you, you speaking specifically about the Drake that we know now. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about album dropping, going on tour, bugging the fuck out Drake. I'm not big into Drake. Right, once, because he's not going to retire. He already came out yeah. saying he wants to have the Frank Sinatra estate in Vegas. Right. He wants that. He wants right. to spend his days performing on the piano in Vegas. Right, right. Bro, think about where the, how that would turn a whole fucking... Co- Bro, that's insane just thinking about to I'm me. I'm buying the season tickets. Bro, what? <laughs> Floor season, seat. Season there. tickets to see the same show is crazy. Same, same shit. <laughs> yo, Drake got a show. In, yo, his, his next show in Vegas. Yo, we got to fly over there. We got to fly out. Yeah, it's going to be some... It's like the fucking... The Blue Boys. What's the... Men in Blue? It's going to be like... It's going to be, like, it's gonna be some crazy shit. The Blue Man shit. Group. The Blue Man Group. Nigga, we out there, nigga. You know what I'm saying? The Men in okay. Blue. <laughs> nigga probably going to perform like four times out the year, nigga. Like every... Bro. Every every day. Oh, yeah. Pause, pause, pause. We 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 on a tangent and damn, we mad far into the episode. But I think this is a real thing that we're talking about though, because you got to understand. Like, I be I be looking at all of this shit as it as it comes out. We see all these artists selling their catalogs and doing all of this, doing that. I think all of all of the artists selling their catalogs, they have information and they're privy to shit that's going to be happening in the future and they're that's going to be a thing. That we as a casual listener and fan doesn't know about. I think the experience of seeing someone live, an artist live, and I think is is gonna be uh something that's really valuable. You know what I mean? It's not gonna be something that you can just do all the time. Right. Just how like Drake did this Apollo show. He didn't and we got confirmation that tickets were not sold. So we could see. That it's more of like an exclusivity thing. Like if 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 you're able to get there, you can do it. I just think in the future, when it comes to music and live shows, it's gonna be a lot more, a lot more with with uh what what am I trying to say? It's it's, it's gonna be a lot more uh fuck. Take your time, man. Where, where where am I going with this? It's 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 gonna be something that you is it's already a lot more it's, dips it's, at the show for the dips. A lot more dips. It's already an experience, <laughs> but it's gonna be a lot more focused on just oh yo, this is a one time thing. You can't always get this. Right. Right. I think that's where live shows cause you gotta think too, like we haven't seen that many people that we fuck with touring recently. Unless you have like an arena tour, like a Kendrick, like a Cole, like a Cuddy. Yeah. You ain't seen just a nigga just like a uh who who can I say? A uh fucking J I D at just like wow. a random local venue. That that shit really doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, COVID kinda said, Halt! Yeah. Kind of fucked all that up, you know what I'm saying? I think we're gonna get back to that. I think, I think and eventually, I think, I think uh, this year, next year, we'll be back in motion of sh- concerts and shows and shit like that going on. Oh, it's yeah, just a, yeah, lot yeah. Of, a lot of people, a lot of that cities, is- a lot of areas still, you know, they still got a COVID scare. It's still a lot of niggas that don't, I, I got a mask on, don't touch my face, don't touch me. You know, it's still a lot of niggas that's just like that, you know what I mean? So, yeah. once we but, get past um, that hump. Then I guess I guess we be back outside. Listen, shout yeah. out to my nigga James Cameron. You know what I'm saying? That nigga got the the Avatar sequel. It's like the 
fourth highest grossing movie of all time right now. Just beat Infinity War and yeah. fucking Star Wars. So, it's up there with his movies. It's up there with his movies, right? So, say, niggas, is going to the, niggas is going to the movies again. You know what I mean? And that, that just ain't a few niggas in the theater at once. That's a pack. That's a pack there that damn near every showing. If it's every smoking show. shit like that. That shit yeah. got nominated for some uh, Oscars as well. That shit got nominated for Best Picture. Cinema. Yeah, I have it. I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to watch it on the TV. I ain't going. I mean, I want to yeah, see it in the movie theaters. I so want to. So James, but I got, I got, I got the, I got the Big Daddy. So I'm waiting to watch it on the Big Daddy. I got the setting. You know what I'm saying? That's to me. That's a better experience. Big Daddy. What's the Big Daddy? Seventy five. Damn. Yeah. I don't even know. I, I try to make a joke, but nigga said, "God damn." Yeah, I got the nigga. Nigga, I got the seven five. Yeah, that's, that's what I be. You, you, you got the big daddy. Yeah, I got the big daddy. God damn, seventy five. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, ask that nigga drugs. Nigga drugs like, yo, son, this shit crazy. You seen yeah, it? Nigga. Yo, drugs. You seen the big daddy? Pause. <laughs> 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 nigga tried to line you, boy. He tried to line you up, boy. He tried to line you up. He should have just said, "You seen the nigga Mars TV?" Yeah, nigga, see, it was in my crib. I cannot, I can, I, I, I can't. I be trying to get this nigga drugs, bro. He can't, can't get him. He's, un, he's ungettable. <laughs> I can't get this nigga. <laughs> nigga tried to line you. Uh, <laughs> I definitely try to line this nigga. <laughs> but yeah, nah. Sorry. So that is that is Avatar: The Way of the Water is definitely uh, nominated for Best Picture. With the, let's let's get into that just quickly because I mean we 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 potting right now. We some we 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 some potting motherfuckers, but. Quick nominees. I'm gonna just go over the best picture, best picture, and best actor and best actress for. for yeah, please, because all the other shit is relevant. Yeah, I'm about to say where. So we got Tom Cruise, best picture, Top Gun. No, let's go, let's go, Tommy. We got Woman Talking. Never heard about that. That's what Francis. Bitches, bitches yapping. I, I, I heard about the movie. <laughs> everything, all everything, everywhere, all at once. I heard Dan that was Kwan. cinema. I heard that cinema. cinema. Yeah, I gotta I watch that cinema. if you haven't. I watched it. Fucking fire. It's cinema. It's cinema. Is it cinema? It, it, it's confirm? cinema. It's cinema, bro. Confirmed. All right. Confirmed. All right. On live on air on the pod. I think I might have talked about it when I watched it for the. I first think you time. did. I think you did. I just want to reassure. Cinema. Reassurance. Yeah. Uh, cinema. Next yeah, one, gotcha. the Banshees of Inisherin. Don't know what that is. Okay. Uh, Triangle of Sadness. Never heard Triangle of that. Triangle of Sadness. That cold word for pussy. The Fablemans. Steven Spielberg. Okay. Avatar. Shout out to Steven. Now my nigga James Cammy. My son James Cameron. The Elvis movie. Fuck Elvis. What? But I heard the movie was pretty good. What? But fuck Elvis. What? Tar. I never heard of Tar. Tar. And All Quiet on the Western Front. That is a long name for a movie. Not word. So all of these movies, we've got to remember, and also this is wild, we talked about the Oscars last year on the pod, so that just means we're coming up closer to that one-year mark. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That pussy but, nice and wet. We almost there, niggas. Yeah, we almost there. It's almost time to uh to, to stick it. We yep. left it, and now it's almost time uh-huh. to stick it. It's, uh-huh. <laughs> we almost it's there, fire. niggas. This podcast is off the rails, man. But best picture last year was Coda. I don't know if y'all ever watched it. Did y'all ever go back and watch that shit? I told y'all niggas Coda. I watched it. I discussed it on the pod. Wasn't Coda. that sad shit? It's sad, but it's funny as hell. And it's really oh, but good. the deaf people, right? The niggas yeah, that couldn't hear. Yeah. 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 Coda. That's what that means. That's what that stands for. Children uh, of deaf adults. I'm so, real ignorant this episode, y'all. To the niggas who couldn't hear. I'm sorry. <laughs> This nigga Mars is on his shit. That's a, that's what the people actually like from you, bro. So you know what I mean? He just that's he, 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 all right, all right. That yeah, Coda let the niggas who was deaf and all that. Niggas had to, you know, so the game's right, right, to right, communicate. Right, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> word, word, word. That that that, that movie right there. <laughs> all right, all right, got it, got it. Oh man. But um, and of course, okay, we got a uh, couple other nominations, but those those. What the fuck it? I don't, I don't, we we don't we we not gonna watch this shit. We not gonna watch the Oscars. We just gonna, we gonna, gonna give gonna y'all the Oscars. breakdown of who won. Yeah, we gonna won. give you the breakdown. We gonna give you the breakdown of who won. Who gives oh, a fuck about who though. nominated? This wild shit. shit. Shout out to shout out to all my real niggas out there in the building. You know what I'm saying? All my Zack Snyder niggas. You know what I'm saying? They had the the niggas actually made an award. The 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 greatest fan moment award last year. Award last year. They made that specifically for Spider Man No Way Home. And niggas came through and swooped that shit. Bow, nigga. Jack Snyder, Zack Snyder's Justice League 
flash speed for a scene, right? They ain't do that shit again this year. You heard? It's over. It's done. Y'all ain't gonna get that chance again, bitch ass niggas. Toast. Leonardo DiCaprio toast. Tell him why you mad, son. Leonardo DiCaprio toast, nigga. Word. <laughs> Let's get into, I mean, I don't know if we're going to get into last, we, we might get into Last of Us after this, but. I can get into it. What was Shane and Shop saying? That's no problem. That's no problem. That, 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 ain't no problem. that ain't no problem. Yo, yo, yo drugs, you want to talk about The Last of Us, bro? Or you want to. We got. We have to. We got to talk about the Last of Us, man. We promised everybody we would talk about this shit every week. We we got to at least. And I mean, Mars, we we miss you last week, bro. I wish you was here so you could, you know, what I mean, you could kind of fact check us or just give us the rundown of what actually happened or from the game because you actually played it. I'm a Last yeah. of Us connoisseur. I'm the. I'm the. I'm. The, when they said. I was there too. It was Joe, Ellie, and Javon. I was there. I was in the background. I was watching shit. <laughs> I mean, I'm, 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 I'm there. I'm a Last of Us fanatic. I am. I can say that I'm a Last of Us fan. I love that game. I love it. I love. I love it. How do you feel? Uh, how do you feel about the HBO series? The HBO series is fucking spot on. I love. I love the little, little the the, the details because all right, the beginning when they show Shorty going to actually bottle watch. I was telling drugs this shit because you know I, I know him. I knew him for a while now. We talk. You be um, talking to drugs? Yeah, I know him. No, he's a cool guy. Cool, great guy. <laughs> Pays his taxes, fucks hoes. Great guy. Anyway, um, so when Shorty, when the little girl, when his daughter went to go get the watch, they didn't have that in the game. The game starts off, you know, what I'm saying Joel is out. Rumor, Joel was out fucking his neighbor. Old lady. I don't. They changed it. They didn't tell uh, us it was an old lady in the game. Okay. Right? I think, I'm pretty sure he was fucking the neighbor. The daughter was waiting mm. for him to come back home. It was his birthday. She yeah, had got a watch. Work. Right? So, you know, you're walking around the house with, as, playing as the daughter. You know what I'm saying? Just going around oh. looking at shit. Right? No, this is what happened. It was already home. She goes to sleep. So, pause, pause, pause. Because I made it a point last episode, and this is why, like, I'm glad you're here now. You could we could focus on that. I made it a point to mention the beginning of that episode last week. They made it a point to focus on the daughter. Yes. Oh, is that the same? In, oh my God, it's the same in yes. the game too. Same as wow. in the beginning. Yes, in the beginning. Yes, because you play as the daughter. She's the first yeah. character you play with in the game. Oh wow! So continue. Wow, that's insane. You, that, oh, I, so, perfect, it's perfect. Oh my yeah. God, that's insane! Wow. See, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that being a part of the game as a part. Oh, nah, that's a part of the game, nigga. It's a part of the game, playboy. Oh, go, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Oh, you, this is, this oh, is your oh, world. Man, go ahead. You know what I'm saying. Um, how did it go? Did you, you play as her. Right. You play as her for a little while. Joe comes home from work. She for gives the him the watch. Right. She gives him the watch. She goes to sleep. He puts her to sleep in his bed. He makes a move. Now, that move he made. I think he went to go fuck the neighbor's wife. I think he was fucking his neighbor's uh, wife. Okay. See, in the so show... You, we wake up again as a daughter, and it, well, all before, hell before, you, before you get there, the show shows him leaving to go bail his brother out from jail. Oh, no. That, that he was said, He was getting some pussy. Right, that was a freestyle. He was definitely getting some pussy. He was getting because, some pussy. Damn. Because play, play, play like this. When the daughter wakes back up and all hell breaks loose, jail's, Joel comes through the back door, right? He's loading up his gun. He's nervous and shit like that, right? Yeah. And the neighbor, the husband, comes to the door already infected, chasing after him. So, so, so the video game is playing out like the story as well. Like it's playing out in the story teller yeah. mode. Yeah. Or is it... yeah, that's fucking fire, man. Like yeah, that shit is a that shit is a movie, bro. The game is already a movie. That's why it was easy for them to make the show. They just got to add a little few little yeah. details here and there. Blah 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 blah. Joe brother was already home. When I saw that shit, I'm like, he bailed his brother. Whatever, we'll yeah, take so that. He was, he was out. The, the brother he was, was out. out. Brother was and out. then he went to jail. But I mean, let, let's fast forward because, we, I mean, just for time's sake. So, we seen the first episode. We talked about it. I'm glad, like, you you giving us this insight is just like, wow, I did, I'd never seen the game. So, to know that is pretty cool. What... So this second week, the second episode just aired, season one, episode two, uh -huh. just aired. 
And uh, uh, this is the first episode we actually seen them getting into combat with uh with uh whatever you call them. What, the what are they called? The clip, the click, 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 clickers, clickers, clickers. With the clickers, the motherfucking people that they faces look like cauliflower and shit. I said vaginas. Up. I said vagina faces. I don't know a few pods ago. I remember I, you said a couple of pods ago, like when the game yeah. dropped. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Before the show even dropped. Yeah, yeah I, I, I do remember that. Yeah, to the vagina if face. If y'all if y'all go back, yo, scream man, go ahead back and find that and pull, make it a clip. They'll know. You definitely said vagina face. I remember that. I just want to know you being someone that played the game. You know how this ends. You know everything, right? How do you feel watching the show and its representation of what the game was to the casual person that might be checking it, it out? It is the game with. It's the same as the game, just with. It's the remake. It's the remake, but just added features. Mm. It, that's really what it is. It's the remake with added features, and people have different skin complexions because the daughter is not the daughter's a blonde head, blue eyed white girl. So, but you know, the, I'll get over that. I don't care about that. But like I said, it's a remake with with extra features. It's one to one. Shorty acts like Ellie. Pedro Pascal is Joel. Surprisingly, I didn't think he could pull off the Joel thing, but he's he, Joel. He's, he's killing that. He's Joel. Shout out! Shout out to Bella Ramsey as Ellie. Shout out to yeah. uh, Anna Torb as Tessa. I, Tessa. Listen, so tell me listen, about man. that scene. How do you feel? Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm just saying. When Shorty season two, if they follow in Last of Us two, they better get that little fucking girl a fucking Oscar if she pulls it off. Right. I'm telling you right now. He's doing a good job so far. I can't. Complain, yeah, she's doing right? a good job now, but I want to see her job when season two comes and she's okay. the main. Yeah. Wait. I from the from the video game clips that you sent us from the second version of the game, Last of Us Two, she's angry. I can see that. I can she's see angry. Bella, I can see Bella Ramsey pulling that off. I believe in her enough to do that. I hope so. And you got to think they renewed the second season already. Yeah, That's a two episodes, so they believe in it too. Yeah. Shout out to Neil Druckmann, the creator of the whole of the Last of Us. Shout out to him for being on set every day and working out, you know, the kinks and the script and all that and making sure that shit is one-to-one in the game. I wish he was on set for Uncharted, but he de- he just, he worked on a few things on Uncharted. Same studio, by the way, Cinema, uh, um, Naughty Dog Studios. They make, they make Uncharted and Last of Us, same company. So um, I wish he was on set with Uncharted with Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland because that shit was a travesty. Um, so, you know. But Last of Us is if it's, it's his baby. Last of Us is his is his is his beautiful baby. So I can't I can't knock him for working as much as he did on, with that. But like I said, he's they're doing a phenomenal job. I'm gonna watch episode two um, tonight with some pizza and some liquor. You know what I'm saying? And just just vibe out. Gotta have the and liquor. Then, and then tomorrow I have episode three. So you know I'm in luck. So they did say I'm I'm looking here. It says. Um... The Last of Us episode two audience was up twenty two percent from the debut, from the debut, making it the biggest jump ever for HBO. Yeah, which is kind of crazy. The Last of Us episode two netted five point seven million viewers on its first night, just on the first night, up twenty two percent from the series debut. This marks the largest second week audience growth ever for an HBO series. Episode 1 is now tracking at 18 million viewers. Damn. I God do damn wish... They're killing it. They're they basically I, killing it. I knew it was it's certain things that just shows that shit is going to be cinema. When I seen the trailer and they used the same logo for the game as they did for the, t- for the show, I said this is going to be epic. That subtle nod right there proved to me that this shit was going to be epic. Now, I wish Resident Evil did the exact same fucking thing. That's what pissed me off because Resident Evil can be what Last of Us is. If done right, you follow what the fuck you need to follow with the first game with the niggas inside the mansion and the big plot twist of Wesker working for Umbrella the whole fucking time. My nigga, what, what, we could have fucking amazing shit. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, 
damn, I just that shit just made me hate Resident Evil even more as a films. It really did. If I'm not mistaken, the main character, Alice, she was based off. Listen to this stupid shit. You niggas remember Resident Evil Veronica Cole X? I definitely, I remember Veronica Cole X. I'm not sure, but I. There I was a villain I'm, I'm, in the game that you fought. Name, name this after the same character they made the movies off of. That you had to fight as Claire. She was some silver, long armed bitch. That's what the fuck they based the shit off of. Her backstory. <clears throat> weird. Weird. Hollywood is weird when it comes to video games. That's why I'm actually shocked that Last of Us is what it, what it is. This is probably the most to the T live action show from a video game ever made. I'm trying, while I'm saying that, I'm thinking of other shit. And it's not clicking to me. So, yes, I'm correct. This is one-to-one to the video game. No debate. Yeah, that's, what I, that's what I've been seeing. I've been seeing a lot of uh, content come out and footage on Instagram and YouTube and shit. You know, the internet. I'll be watching the internet. We need to make that a new segment. Watching the internet. All of the shit that we see over the weeks. Yeah. That's on the internet. And that we... Because you got to think, nowadays, man, we be watching the internet. Like, it's TV. It's we watching this shit. Whether it's in our hand, on a computer, on a laptop, on a TV. We watching it. But it's all the same platform. So, we watching the internet, like, that, like, uh, motherfucking The Last of Us is one of them shows. That's that I see a lot man. of people I, talking about. I, Word. I ain't mad at it, brothers. I ain't mad at it. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Um... I got some other news if you guys let me get into it. Um, Sad for my my Avengers niggas, but they ending all work, all future DLC, and all like, you know, bullshit for the Avengers game. So, Avengers game is is finally dead come September. So, I actually recently just sold mine. Even though it's still on fucking PlayStation, I can just download the shit if I want to on PlayStation. So, I really just, I sold it just to, I wasted money. It, it It was no point. Um, other news, uh, Xbox fired the whole 343 industry, so Halo is, like, kaput right now, as far as everything's concerned. Uh, yeah, heard about that. Yeah, sad shit, sad shit, sad shit. Um, oh, yeah, fucking Doom Patrol and Titans is canceled. I did see that. So yeah. and James Gunn was saying James that came out and said, "Oh, that that that, that wasn't our call. We had no control." This was happening that. before we got here. Yeah, nigga, stop it, stop it. He be fucking lying, bro. That nigga's a fucking liar. Did you see the bullshit he put out coming at niggas who had this hashtag going called Clark's uh, Cabell's Clark, right? He came at a group of niggas that was hashtagging that, right? When niggas did their homework on the hashtag. It was only three people who it was only two pages who hashtagged it. So you're literally trying to set a narrative to make it seem like fans are toxic. But you're not paying attention to sell Zach sell Zach Snyder just to leave the Netflix that, that spawned over 100 k tweets in a week or restore the Snyderverse or fire you and Peter Sanford. Peter Saffron. He's a fucking clown. He's supposed to drop his slate for the new DC movies in January. What's today's date? January 28th. <laughs> that nigga got till Tuesday, nigga. He got till Tuesday. And it better be some fire. And you better have some casting going on. It won't be fire. We know it's not. We know it's not going to be fire. I know it's not. I know that nigga like the back of my hand. He's a fucking clown. One of the worst directors to fucking grace Hollywood. Yes, I like Super. I like that movie. But it is dog shit. Okay, I, I thought Slither was cool, but Slither's dog shit as well. It's it's not as good as it, as, as people make it out to be. Guardians was cool until the end of the movie when they had the fucking dance off. And Guardians two was horrible, and so was the Suicide Squad. So I don't know why they they hired that. Nigga. And then I don't know if you niggas remember, but a few months ago, when Peacemaker dropped, HBO came out and said, "Oh, hey, Peacemaker's the highest show of all time." The list came out for the most streamed TV that shows. That show was ass. Bro, the, the the list came out for the most streamed TV shows last year. It wasn't even on the top fifteen. Did you see they were working on a, a new Tomb Raider series on Amazon? Oh shit! I did. I think I did see some shit like that. About, some shit about that. 
I'm interested. I'm, I'm interested to see. Them games was classic. Was was fire though. The recent games that came out, which just was really good. Recent? What do you mean recent? There's a new like newer versions that came out recently. Yeah, yeah. Them shits was crazy, nigga. Ooh, see, I'm I'm not aware. Square Enix. Yeah, them shits was gassy. I ain't gonna care. Them shits was mm. low gassy. Yeah, yeah. Them shits was epic. They had like epic oh, like. And she'll find a way to fuck like in the like let's say if they're on a helicopter, right? And this shit was epic. Like it, it was crazy ass set piece. Where like let's say if she in a helicopter, a, 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 a missile hits the helicopter, she falls out. You see it's, it's a cutscene, of course. She's falling down, mm. fucking hitting branches and shit, trying to use her shit to it's all Ooh. epic though. Yeah, it's, it's cutscenes is fucking fire though. Like if you could, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's like what a movie would be. I'll, I'll get cutscenes in the video games. And it, like yo, the shit is stop, and you want a fucking cliff of a mountain, nigga. And you gotta climb up and get your shit back together. Uh, it's it's oh, fire. No, that's fire. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. The recent game. What's that? What you dope. say? What was it? What, was, what game was that? Tomb Raider. Hold on, I'm about to fucking Google that oh, shit. Why, for you. why you looking up? I'm looking up. So Amazon is reportedly making a Tomb Raider TV show and a movie written by Phoebe Waller Bridge. They would mark more big video game adoptions from Amazon, which recently confirmed it's making a God of War show. Did you hear about that? They yeah, I heard about that. This is in the headline. But anyway, earlier Friday, the Hollywood Reporter said that the Amazon is developing a TV series based on a Tomb Raider video game franchise with scripts written, written by Phoebe Waller-Bridge, but apparently not all. Later in the day, Deadline corroborated the report about the TV series and added that a new Tomb Raider movie is in the works at Amazon Studios. So it doesn't seem like they have any... There's, this is this is in no, based on that article and based on the sentences right there, then they 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 still working it out. It ain't it yeah, ain't still working out. Yet. Still, yeah, yeah, it's still working like out. It's official yet. No, no. Uh, it's called Tomb Raider Definitive Edition and then Tomb Raider Rise of the Tomb Raider Shadow of the Tomb Raider and then yeah, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Really good games, man. Really good games. They, there was a recent movie that came out. I don't know if you niggas remember that recent movie that came out a few years Definitive, ago. Definitive Edition came out in 2013. Uh-huh. It's also available on the Xbox One for $10, so I may go get that right now. <laughs> nah, fuck with that shit, bro. That shit hard, my nigga. That shit gas, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. But there was a movie, that a recent Tomb Raider movie that came out a few years ago. I would say like 2016, 2015. Could be 2018. Not sure. But it was based off the video games. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, really good. Really good shit. Really good shit. I had a how Kingdom Hearts theory I wanted to get into, but I'll wait till next week. Yeah, let's uh, wait till next week. But how do you feel yeah. about the uh, Zack Snyder Star Wars is coming out to December 20th? Rebel Moon! Rebel Moon! It's going to be cinema. It's going to be fucking cinema. I don't, I don't know what else to say about the guy. Okay, he had the, the, this, the most, it was the most popular, it was the reason why that trailer even boomed the way it boomed. You understand what I'm saying? It was last for a reason. I'm going to go see that in theaters because I seen Army of the Dead in theaters and that was a fucking experience. I'll tell you that much. Let me, uh, let me give the people this uh, little um, description. So it says Rebel Moon as a, uh, if you know Zack Snyder, give, give us an overview about Zack Snyder and let me tell him about Rebel Moon, bro. Go, go ahead. Zack Snyder is the fucking visionary, okay? Madman behind a fucking camera, okay? If he did, if he did casting couches, the casting couches would be epic as fuck. Okay, for my point, huh, people. But uh, director of Three Hundred, Watchmen. Okay, Isles of the Gahul. I don't know if you niggas seen him do animation shit before, but nigga, that shit puts Pixar to shame. Hmm. It was yeah, yeah. Isles of the Gahul. Look it up. Low, it's a low key film he did. What is um, it called? Isles of, Isles of the Gahul, or something like that. Nice. nice. It, was, it was an owl movie. It was like it was a borderline P rated R owl movie that came out from DreamWorks. I think was it DreamWorks? I'm not sure it was DreamWorks. But it was fire. Owls was kicking each other's asses. It was amazing. The shots in that shit was ridiculous. He's the director yeah. of Sucker Punch and the director of the greatest DC trilogy of all time, Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, Ultimate Edition, and Zack Snyder's Justice League. He recently mm. did Army of the Dead at Netflix. Now he's doing his, which is, let me tell you the history of Rebel Moon. Rebel Moon's script, the original script, was a Star Wars script that he sent to Lucasfilms, and Lucasfilms kind of said, nah, we're going to take some of those little tidbits and put it in episode seven. 
We'll find Ooh. out what the tidbits are, you know. But uh, yeah, they definitely stole a little bit of his. He he he, he kind of said he's like, if you watch episode seven, there's a, I forgot what interview it was. But he was like, you watch episode seven, a little bit of my my script was kind of in that a little bit. Um, yeah. But uh, it was before you go on. It says, "Uh, Rebel Moon is about a reluctant hero from a peaceful colony who was about to find she her, she's her people's last hope." Zack Snyder, uh, uh, see, see, he tweeted this, and it's coming out December twenty second on Netflix. Yep, December twenty second. Um, it's also like a Seven Samurai type type story vibe. Um, you got Shorty Sophia Bullet. You got Charlie. Uh, what's his name? Charlie Humane, dude from the Sons of Anarchy. Mm-hmm. He's also in it. Ray Fisher, cyborg from Zack Snyder's Justice League, is playing a nigga named Blood Axe. That sounds insane. Um, Blood, Blood Axe is a wild name. Blood Axe is a wild name. Anthony Hopkins also plays some robot nigga in the movie as well. He's been cast in the movie as well. His voice, yeah. or is it a, is him? his voice? He got he got the he got he got oh. he got yeah he got the goat he got the goat in this shit. You know what I mean? Okay. So you know. Um, a few other surprises I believe is, is going to be in that. So I'm interested. I can't wait. Uh, Zack Snyder in space. I, I, I don't. Yeah. I, I, I can't. I can't put it this bet. I can't put it no better than that. You know what I mean? So I'm interested. I probably give BVS a, a watch this weekend. Probably tomorrow or some shit. It's been a while. Watch it again. I think this is a good time for us to um, finish out getting to these quick hits, these sports topics. Yo, drugs, you 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 with us? You 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 alive, my boy? They got him. Damn, they got drugs. I think they got drugs. All right. Well, since they got him, let me let me uh, my pause this shit. Cause I got to pee too, nigga. I think this is the perfect time for us to get into that quick hit segment of the pod. Get to these sports topics. Ah, the motherfucking Cowboys, man. Oh, it's fucked up. Last week, I predicted all of these games. I, I, I was three out of four. And the only one I didn't make right was the goddamn Cowboys game. And it's fucked up because I knew they weren't going to win. Not because they weren't talented enough. But goddamn, man, them Cowboys just don't operate as a fucking winning team, bro. We've seen this for years. Man, no. No? No. Nigga told me no. God, no? What you mean? No. Man, who made these niggas America's team? America? Oh, White yeah. people! Oh, oh, America. This is Texas, bro. It's Texas, oh. bro. Hey, you got... Hey, hey, you boy, you make sure you make sure you pay attention and you res- put some respect on... I don't know. That's that's how I thought it was in the back. I thought I assumed it to be that back in the day. For oh, that community, that the community that hey boy, yeah, yeah that, that community word. Yeah, but y'all niggas ain't America's team. Get the fuck out of here with that dumb shit. Matter of fact, look at that. All right, you didn't have to put me in that too, y'all. Come on now, yo, yo, matter of fact, look, listen, listen. The Cowboys actually can have that America's team. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can have that. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. They, they, they have a really great... This is one of their best teams in a long time. But Dak, Dak is not that guy. Dak, like... I would rather have a rookie quarterback than Dak. Because the rookie quarterback can be taught. Dak, at what he is now... When he came into the league, he's been the same player and he hasn't learned anything through coaching. And now the coaches that he had there weren't the best, but you had a system. You have Jerry's world, like you, whatever you want to think about it. Like, I think because it is Jerry's world, he's going to pay for the best or who he thinks is the best staff, coaches, assistant coaches to be there at that moment. I think while Dak has been there, he hasn't had the best opportunity to learn from the best play, like the best coaches, the best staff type shit. I think them niggas need to trade that nigga for what's that nigga name? Brock Purdy. Come on, son. Yo, yo, relax, bro. Yeah, or go get Joe Flacco. 
Yo, you being you being real disrespectful, but I'm gonna take it because we lost. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We lost. We did lose. To be but, honest, but come you. on, come on, son. Joe Flacco. Yeah, he's the Super be, Bowl champion. But come on, son. To be honest with you, Brady might leave the Bucks, man. Yeah, I might want to go holler at that boy. You being think, funny right now, but Brady he definitely gonna leave the Bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, but I, if Brady went to the Cowboys, that 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 would be something, man. Son, come on, come on. What you what you what you doing right now? Come on, man. Come on, man. Stay with me. <laughs> <laughs> Brady, that would never happen if it did. That would never happen. Yes. Yeah. That no, it would literally would never happen because Jerry Jones knows that Tom Brady is more popular than him. And he can't have that on his team. Jerry Jones was literally, you remember the first game where the Cowboys won? I was hyped last week. Yeah, Cowboys, niggas, nigga, fucking kicker, missed four fucking field goals the whole game. After that game, Jerry Jones literally, as the owner of the team, went down and had to, like a talk with the kicker. Imagine yeah. that, bro. Like, you working at like a motherfucking store. You. No, I mean you. You at you in a retail business? You working at Bloomingdale's? You the manager of the store? You the owner? Imagine at the end of the day, do, do, do you have a, a cashier? Because that's what the kicker is like relating to in terms of that that business. I mean, he's the cashier. He's not that important on the team, but he he does his. I mean, he's important. At the end of the day, you go to that nigga like, hey man, I seen you. Uh, you didn't ring up that. Uh, you didn't ring up that 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 sale the right way. I don't know where I'm going with this shit, bro. Yeah, just... But Jerry Jones is the type of nigga to go sign Chad Pennington right now. <laughs> Jer Jerry Jones wants to be the star of the team is where I'm getting at, man. He, Even though he has actual superstars and because of their talent, he just nigga... because he owns the team, he wants to be the face. Man, this nigga really be in, like, fucking, like, press conferences and fucking... Like with the team shit, like the team boy, bro. get no ass, I, boy. No, we don't want to. Like eat. he, like like he was fucking throwing on fourth down. You eighty what? years old, bro. You gonna be eighty one this year, my nigga. Like, boy, sit go down. Your ass in the hot chair somewhere, boy. Bro, he's literally eighty years old, bro. He was around during World War Two. Think bro, about he's that, mad annoying, bro. He's mad like, annoying to me, bro. Bro, think about that world. War, two, <laughs> like you yeah, know what I mean, like in hopscotch during when you time. when we think about World War Two, we think about like just history and like some fake shit. This nigga was alive, bro. World War Two started like nineteen thirty nine or some shit, nineteen forty years, nineteen thirty nine, like at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. He was born in nineteen forty two. This war ended in September nineteen forty five. This nigga was like three, four years old while the whole world war was going on. Hitler. This nigga was out when Hitler was around, bro. Black Plague. <laughs> like, come on, more. son. Give it up, bro. Like, but you got to understand, like, football, this is what football is. This is, It's been around for that long. Man, what Martin said to the dude in that episode when he was applying for the job, like, uh, um, damn. Oh, I forgot. I Marty, forgot. Marty Ma. You talking about Marty Ma? <laughs> it, it was he was applying for the job when he was uh, at the DMV? When he called that nigga nah, Carmel nah. Brown? Oh, wait, yeah. No. What's no, that? Man, sit Brown. your ass down. You talking about that scene? Yeah, that, that <laughs> exact scene. <laughs> <laughs> sit your ass <laughs> down. I don't remember what he was doing, but goddamn, that's a funny scene. Son, he did look that boy. He told him to sit his ass down. Bro, somebody got to look at Jeff. Some, somebody got to tell him. Somebody got to tell Jerry Jones to sit his ass fucking down. Shut your way down. But you can't when he's the fucking, he's a billionaire or close to it, 100 millionaire, and he call the shots. Man, whatever, man. But I mean, fuck the Cowboys, man. We spent way too much time talking about these bum ass niggas. Yeah, fuck them. Cool. But three. three Three of my four predictions of my from last episode came through, and I mean the Eagles won, Cincinnati won. I don't know why niggas thought the Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen is not that dude. Joe Burrow is that dude, though. Joe Cool. 
Bro, listen, no, man. Thank God. Everybody who knows football knows what was going to happen in that game. And Joe Cool. Joe was too cool. Jamar Chase. First of all, the Bengals is a better team, period. Like, in every, like, the special teams is better. Like, I'm being a better team. Imagine being on a team with your boy. Like, your actual homie. And nah, you mean. are, like, directly, the positions you guys play are directly related to you guys putting points on the board. Oh, I'm the quarterback that throws the ball. Oh, you're the receiver that catches the ball? Oh, yeah, nigga, what? Yeah, Chase might be my favorite player in the league right now. Yeah, he. I I seen I, I seen a post on Instagram with uh you know last time when they were at the Super Bowl, they were they had the cigar they had the cigars you know what I mean before at, at the uh when they won the, the conference game to get to the Super Bowl Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow, so they had a a, a post come out recently on Instagram with both of their dad Jamar Chase's dad. And Joe Burrow's dad, like, shoulder and shoulder, like, hugging on each other, both with cigars in their mouth and shit. I'm like, yo, that's some fly shit. Yeah, that's hard right there. Like, I mean, I don't think he's better than A.J. Brown and my niggas. Not yet. But I do think in time, shit, probably in another year or so, that boy gonna be... I think the so this is my my predictions so we can I mean keep moving this on my predictions Super Bowl Eagles Cincy oh and we we gonna see we gonna see nigga like I'll, I'll, I'll put some I'll put some money on it nigga if it's Cincy Eagles I'll put some money on it with you my boy wait, or like whatever wait, wait, wait. Like, oh, who's gonna win this weekend though what's your so prediction we got we got we got. Got it's not as the Eagles. It's not as Eagles, and we got Cincy KC with a uh, injured Pat Pat Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes. Is it? He got a little limpy, you know. what I mean, he he hurt himself. He honestly, he wasn't supposed to finish that game. He's a motherfucking beast, and that team is really good. And Andy, I give credit to Andy Reid because Patrick Mahomes was clearly injured that game. Clearly, like he was limping, bro. He couldn't even hand the ball off. He was so hurt. He limped to hand the ball off, but I give it to the coaching at that point because that's when you need to know, all right, my my player, my number one guy who runs this shit all the time is hurt. Now it's my turn, and he has to believe in me. And the plays that this nigga Andy Recall gave them the W for that game. But Niners versus Eagles, I like the Niners, bro. I like them a lot, but I don't think that quarterback is, he's too young. This is his first year. He's Mr. Irrelevant. You know what I mean? Last pick of the fucking NFL draft. If you're the last pick of the NFL draft, you're labeled Mr. Irrelevant. You're not going to the Super Bowl, bro, in your first year. I'm sorry. The team is great. If, I don't think they're going to make it, though. The Philly, I think Philly got a little bit more. They got their receivers. Jalen Hurts, I seen him play last week. Remember last week when I on the pot, I was saying if he was hurt, it's going to depend if they win or not. They blew the Giants the fuck out, bro. <laughs> like, they whooped them niggas' ass. Jalen Hurts had a lot to do with that. So I'm like, he seems to be a little bit not fully there, but he's enough to where he can get the W. So I'm saying since he's going to win against KC, because same thing, Patrick Mahomes isn't healthy. And Philly looks like Jalen Hurts is actually a little bit more healthy, or maybe the team is just that much better. So, I got I got KC winning, and I got motherfucking uh, Philly winning. Uh, I mean, sorry, I got Cincy winning, and I got Philly winning. Right. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I want to say uh, just just being a fan of the sport, I, I probably prefer to see Cincinnati versus my Eagles. But in all, you know. I don't really give a fuck who we go against. We smoking niggas. Uh, Sensi, I fuck with Joe Burrow. That's 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 my nigga. Uh, like I Yo, said, cool. that's my nigga. Like that nigga's nasty, bro. But these niggas is not beating us, bro. Like if they end up going against us in a bowl, 
Joe Burrow, I think, you know, he has the a bit of the upside because he got the experience. That's two but, years back to back, man. Yeah, but I don't know. Joe Burrow, and that's pro- it's not, that's not to take away from anything. Like, he's, I, I just think he's already good. He already played like he been there. Like, I don't feel like he's like a new nigga. Like, he, he's been giving he's me, getting, like, like, he's beast. Like, he's. He give me real, like, old school mob Joe Montana vibes of, like, yeah. Yo, but he yes. a young nigga. He, like, 22. So, so what you thinking? You thinking, of course, of course you're going with the Eagles to beat I actually, the Niners. I, I want to see, no, well, not, well, the bowl, obviously, I want to see who we go, but, you know. What, what's your prediction for this game we're coming up? 49ers, yeah. Eagles. Yeah. I, I'm Obviously, I got my team, the Eagles, going, you know what I'm saying? We going all the way, but I'm, I'm not going to say I have doubts. I'm just, I'm curious to see how we going to take, like, how we going to attack the defense. You know what I'm saying? Like how, you know, I think uh, coaching is is going to have a lot to do with this game. Uh, what do you think the score is going to be? Who, what's, the, what's the final score? I got, I got us. I'm going to say... I'm gonna say twenty four to ten. Ooh, Philly twenty four to ten over the Niners. Yeah. Okay. Because oh. I feel like I feel like the kick off the game, the defense is gonna be intense, but we going we gonna score. We always score first half more times than not, mm-hmm. and I think it's gonna get to the point where. We're going to, like, just get stagnant a little bit and probably just get, like, a field goal at some point. But the defense is going to is gonna hold up for a hot second. Yeah. But I think he's going to pull away at some point in the game. I just don't think – I think it's going to be a bit earlier on in the game. I know it's going to be a really good one, man. I'm 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 looking forward to just like I said, I think the finals, I mean, the Super Bowl Eagles Cincinnati for me. And I think that's going to be a really motherfucking good game. So, I think they might win too. I think they got what it takes to beat the Niners. I don't know if they'll beat them by that much of a margin, but we'll see. But I mean, just uh as as well NFL who who do you think is winning the Super Bowl before we before we move on? Like who do you got? You got you going with your your team, your Eagles? No, nah, it's Eagles all the way. Like I said from the beginning of this year, of the year man, it's yeah. I don't I don't see nobody beating us, bro. And they they haven't really proved, you know, proved me wrong. Okay, okay. Hey, Scream Man, let's make sure we uh can confirm this because we do have uh live uh recordings of of takes. Let's see if he was consistent with this take months ago. Hey, listen, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I told my little cousin, this this nigga crazy, man. This, this, <laughs> this, hey, hey, listen here, little cuz. I know you from Philly, you heard? I know you from Philly. But I've been an Eagles fan since you've been in your onesie. And you know what I'm saying? You had to go to bed at 8, eight o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's when I was an Eagles fan, bro. Like, I done been through all these little debates. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't really engage in that no more. Like, you know what I mean? It's all entertainment now. I laugh it off. You know what I mean? But we really used to be in school. You know what I mean? We we had to we had to get it on. We had to get it on for our debates. Like, you know what I'm saying? The Kobe and the the, the Lakers versus Nets and you know, all that. Nowitzki. Right, right. We was we we went through all that already, bro. That was a different time. You know what I'm saying? You growing up in a whole nother era. You know what I'm saying, but I respect it. You know it's all love. Ah, baby, we're going to <clears throat> Eagles fly high. Fuck the Eagles, but shout out to the Eagles too, though. <laughs> Yo, I shout mean, out to the Cowboys too, man. America's team, Yo, Ashley. chill out, son. Chill out. Just fuck. Just to, just to fuck all that. Just to finish out off. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> like. Just to get up off for this, man, because the Cowboys, goddamn, them niggas let me down every year, but I can't say I'm surprised. It happens. That nigga, that nigga Dak shoot like Jay Reed. You heard? 
Yo, pass me the wop. Pass me the wop. <laughs> yeah, that's not funny, bro. <laughs> that's not funny. Man, but just quick, quick shout outs at the end so we could get up out of here, man. Shout out to Abbott Elementary. That shit's still funny. Shout out to Vince Staples being a reoccurring character on the show, man. Goddamn, my man Vince is my. It, you know what's crazy? It, it, this is how this shit came about. Like, joke. I don't know if this was jokingly or seriously, but Vin, Vince Staples uh, on Twitter, I believe. He he hit up Quinta Brunson saying like, "Yo, put me in the show," type shit. Like, he was in. It was in response to something that she might have posted, I believe. And then she hit him back saying, "Hey, I'm not done with writing. I'ma hit you." Look how it come around. He ended up on the motherfucking show for more than one episode. But the first episode he was in was amazing. It was cool. It was funny. But to see that now he's becoming a reoccurring character is like, oh shit. That's fucking live, man. So shout out to Abbott Elementary. He, I think he did that. Not to cut you off, I'm sorry, but... Go ahead, go ahead. I think it's fire that he's in that light. Because we all yeah, know... I think, bro, this is NBC. This is big time. Yeah, but... He's a... You know, he's a... I feel like he's like a comedic genius in some way, bro. Oh, he's a comedian that raps. He's funny. Like, timing. He has it. He has all of the skills that a comedian has. Right, right. But he just happens to do his artistry through music yep. at this point. But you watch some episodes of him. Like, <laughs> is a scene with him in that episode where, like, I, like spoiler alert, like, he, he is the friend of Greg, which is the Tyler James character. Tyler James Williams plays Greg which is the, a teacher that worked at the school where Janine works. Janine is Quinta Brunson. Quinta Brunson and Greg, they're like, they, you can see they like each other, but they're not really trying to do that because they might work with each other or whatever. You know, at that age, you don't know really what it is. Mm-hmm. Fast forward, they go out all together, Greg and Vince, his friend, and Quinta is convinced to come out, and they just out all together. <laughs> Greg... Likes Quinta, but he doesn't want to tell her. And his friend starts dancing with her. Fast forward to this episode now. Vince takes Quinta out on a date. And now you see Greg is kind of jealous and shit. Like, oh, it's a really good show, man. Shout out shout out to shout out to that. Shout out to the Abbott Elementary, man. Yeah, shout out to Abbott, man. Um, also, just to finish out, Shotgun Wedding. I heard it's pretty good on Netflix. Shout out to uh, J-Lo is in that. Jennifer Coolidge is in that shit as well. You know, we fuck with Jennifer Coolidge on this, po- on this pod. Yeah, She's yeah. on there. It's a, it's a lot. It's like a star-studded cast, honestly, if I'm looking at the, the cast list right now. It's a lot of people on this shit. She isn't really a part of much things that's not star-studded. And, uh, yeah, I, at this point now, yeah. Since, like, fucking Clueless. Wait, who you said who? Gen- Jennifer Coolidge, right? Oh she yeah, Coolidge. Yeah, she she's been Clueless had it's... was like kind of star studded. It was really star studded, but her they come in waves. It's not like it's like consecutively. Yeah. It's like right. anything she does. It this is is definitely something where she stands out, but she's also not. The story isn't about her, but she has a standout character. Yes. From American Pie. To cool exactly. Movies. Stifler's mom. Oh. <laughs> Stifler's oh. mom was funny. Like, yeah. Hey, no, like, no, let's, not, let's not forget Pootie Tang now. Sarate. <laughs> Sarate, <laughs> my water damies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? On the uh, rent time. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my damies out there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, but I think this is this is probably a good time to get up out of here, man. Well, yeah, let, let, let's get up out of here, man. I think I think the crack fam, they 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 they, 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 they had enough to. They, they, they had enough. 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 WWE divas walk us out. Get us out of here, man. Yo, you bum ass niggas, and you 
You sexy ass bitches. Let's take some time out to appreciate all the sexy hoes out there. You know what I'm saying? Just looking good. And, you know, got the titties all big, ass all fat. That's natural. You didn't go to fucking DR and have a doctor fucking do fucking uh, Kanye West Stronger video procedures on you or 50, you know, 50 Cent in the Club procedures on you. You got your shit right. You look amazing. You was born that way. We appreciate you. We love you. You sexy bitches. Okay? This is for the Harry Pod community. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, you, 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 you coochie a little hairy. We like that sometimes when it's a little hairy. You know what I'm saying? It's a little hair down there. You got the little, you got a light Caesar going on down there. You know what I mean? We like that shit. We like, we like the foopas. We like, we love foopas over here, you bitches. We like foopas. Thanks. The podcast. But other than that, y'all go clear a fucking sample too, you sexy bitches. Get the fuck up out of here. It's cracking the motherfucking 80s. We'll be back next week to fuck your ears raw. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Crack, 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 crack,